mic test, mic test. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Buddy Bison stream. I hope we're all ready for a very special stream today. The stream where I finally start Trails from Zero because that is what we're doing today once the game decides. There we go. So, uh, Bison, do I want a surprise? I would love a surprise. Surprise me. Um, but yeah, so I've never played any version of this game before, none of the Geofront versions, no, none of else. Hey, look at that! Nice Pyrrha emote, a Mithra emote, and then, uh... Oh god, what's the what's the third form called? I forget what it's called. Um... Uh... Something. Um... Numa. Uh... <laughs> uh... Okay. And, um... 
Yeah. But, so, never played any of the versions of this. All I know about Crossbow is what you learn in CS3 and 4 and any, and I guess Cold Steel 1 and 2 as well, to a degree. Um, so, that's all the experience I have going into this. I'm very excited to play, <laughs> uh, frankly. Um, I do, I am playing on my PS4 or PS5 controller. Um, and I did do all like the settings and stuff like yesterday. I set it up and was checking some stuff. Also, just I decided to pull out of my closet the like lumbar pillow that came with this chair several years ago, just to try it out, see if it helps. Because I've been noticing that like my posture when sitting in the in, in the chair is like terrible. So I'm hoping that maybe having like a lumbar um, pillow will help. I don't know. I also don't. It also feels weird to just suddenly have a lumbar pillow, but. Oh well. <laughs> I figured it would help because I find that off times I'm not like sitting with my back to the back of the chair anyway. So if I at least have a pillow, it'll support me a bit. But the, uh, just wanted to go over some of the saying things. So one thing that I immediately already like about this game in particular is that all of the settings are in game. Like there's, this game does not have the cold steel, like, startup menu like a secondary startup menu it's just hey go into the game and you can change everything here you can change the language and counter trigger was not expecting you to be able to choose whether it was leader only or full party fuck full party leader only um of course gotta have the intro movie um but like whole bunch of other settings high speed mode got said to toggle toggles i mean you know d depending on the game i guess it really doesn't matter I guess toggle's better for speedrun, but actually, yeah, I'm gonna have it on hold because I'm just casual LPing it. Um, uh, where is that? It's just in the games options thing, option menu. Um, and then I got four two on. I don't think six is necessary. That's more one. Well, also again, more for speedruns. Inputs, vibration on or off. I'm gonna keep it on because why not? Then the thing that I love to see in every game that has a decent PC port, one where you get to choose what the things stay. Like, look at this. They even put Stadia. Like, they, they threw a bone to Stadia. Good on them. <laughs> um, but, like, the choice where you get to choose what uh, prompts show up is just fantastic. Also, like, it's still, like, even when you set it to any one of these, it still has, like... Um, uh, it, 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 there, you can set it to do auto prompt. Like, even if you have it set to this specifically, I literally don't have that on the PS4 version. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> well, PC version has it. Um, so I, I like that. I like it when games have this option in particular, especially when they're PC games, because I hate it when you play a PC game that was developed for the PS4. I'm looking at you, Sekiro. And it doesn't have this option, so you only get gamepad even though you're playing it on the PlayStation controller, and you know the game was made specifically for PlayStation as well, because it was from soft. I'm looking at you, Elden Ring 2. <laughs> And it's just really annoying when that happens, but whatever. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm not going to mess around with the dead zones, but whatever. Um, button configs kind of just kept them the same for the most part. I did alter uh, a couple things just so high speed could be on R2 like it is in the Cold Steel games. I think that meant I had to swap show message log over to L2. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then you got menu mouse notification or navigation or mouse menu navigation. Um, I wanted this on because this is kind of what allows me to, I think if I turned it off, my mouse wouldn't show up. So I wouldn't really be able to um, like go between screens if I needed to. Um, confine mouse cursor to window. I originally set this to borderless like mode and it was like, why can't my mouse go out? And it was like this, confine mouse cursor to window off. Okay, perfect, fixed it. Wonderful. I love it. Um, display mode, borderless. Um, yeah, V-Sync frame rate. See, I could have it at 14.4 or uh, 144. I'm just limiting it at 60 to make it easy on the stream because I'm pretty sure I'm only outputting at 60 FPS anyway, so I don't think it'll cause any issues. Um, 
Yeah, other than that, and then we got the sound, got battle voices, other voices, mute while inactive, continues to play music while the game is not focused. Turn that off, that way when I click off the game, hey look, I'm out of the game, but, you know, music is still playing. <laughs> Which is the thing that you always want when you're streaming a borderless windowed game. <laughs> For the game to just kind of remain active, because you don't want everything to stop. <laughs> um, but yeah. So overall, um, I'm just very pleased with this game's options. I'm, I'm very pleased to see that every sequential release of like a Cold Steel game or a game that uh, PH3 company or Durant, uh, the well-known uh, guy that does all of the porting uh, for these games, like every single version, it gets like a bit better where it's like, okay, uh, from... Uh, three to four, they added like toggle, like turbo and other things like actively. Now we finally got to the point where it might just be because this is an older esque game. I'm not sure if we can expect it with the reverie ports, um, but it's nice seeing that the ports are now having all of the options in game because one of my main grievances with the Cold Steel games was anytime you needed to make a change to controls or to anything, um, just about anything. You had to do it in the startup menu, start up the game, see if it worked. If it didn't work, you had to exit the game, go back into the startup menu, make the change again, boot up the game again, like, and just do that over and over and over again while trying to figure it out. This one, it's just like, hey, you're in the game, make the changes in the game, and I love it. It might also be because this port, right, like, this port was made with the idea that it's going to be released at the same time as the PS4 version, so it's console and PC at the same time. So maybe that had an effect where it's like, well, if we're already building the PlayStation version with all the options in-game, might as well do the PC one with it as well. Not sure. I don't know. But regardless, I can say that I am pleased. I am pleased with the menu, and I'm also pleased with the music, because it's pretty damn good music. And I do have the BGM tracker thing on, I believe. The uh, additional feature that was added to the Geofront one by uh, those fine people that they uh, were able to uh, also bring over to the official one where it'll show the track name and OST information whenever a new song starts playing. So your music is great as someone who has played it once or twice. Ah, eh, you know, just once or twice. But regardless at this point i have been talking for about seven minutes give or take because five minus 14 is somewhere close to seven i don't know um i think it's about time that i start the game now unlike my cold steel playthroughs and my trust in the sky playthroughs i am not going to be following any guide whatsoever at any point in this playthrough i don't want any spoilers i want this one to kind of be the blindest i've gone through a game in terms of like oh quests uh book collection like fishing things like i want this one to kind of be my i want the i want to start from zero with this game and i don't want any uh additional guides and stuff because when i played through cold steel uh, one, even then, I had a quest guide to tell me where to get all the quests. Then, when I played through the Sky games, one, I used Necro Dave's gratefully provided um, New Game Plus saves for Sabbath. Uh, and then I also followed a quest guide and a book collection guide. In this one, I don't plan to do that. So I won't do that. <laughs> because, you know what? If I'm not planning for it, there's no one who's going to force me. <laughs> no one can force me to follow a guide said the man trying to put together Ikea furniture. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. I can put this into this. Uh, but okay. Um, Fontano, is the volume seemingly all right? Like in terms of like my, uh, my audio, uh, my audio, my vocal, uh, verbal audio to the game's BGM, or should I lower it a little bit? I just want to know before I get in because once I get in, I want to want to pinpoint focus on everything. So I don't want to get 
distracted by someone saying, oh, well, the music is a bit quiet or it's, it's too loud. I can hear you. Can't hear any game. You can't hear any game. Okay, let me. Okay. Uh, but I have my ga I have game on my side too. Okay. Because my monitor computer seems to have uh seems to be able to pick up my game audio. So you know I'm gonna I'm gonna bump the game audio just a little bit. Um, and hope that that does it enough. Uh, okay. Because my mic's at negative 6.7 decibels. And my game audio is at negative 13.4 right now, because I don't want it to uh, uh, to be too loud. Better? Okay, perfect. And I still do have that filter on that should hopefully prevent me from uh, from uh, peaking the mic, because I added that on smartly. Because I remember I was trying to like do it uh, a while ago, but I was like going a bit too crazy with it. Like I. I didn't actually learn all the things. I was just following an online guide that just told me, all right, put it at these numbers and it'll be good. And I was like, it wasn't good. Um, and I was also trying to do like multiple filters at one time. So I just did one filter to make it so when my audio goes, I think above like, I think it's like negative 10 decibels um, on the OBS like thing, uh, it will decrease the volume like a, a, a few times over just so I'm not going to peek it. But hopefully I won't peek it, unless I get super fucking hype, which probably I will in this game, because there's plenty of things to get hyped about, I presume. It's a Trails game. There's nothing not hype about it. Okay. Three, two, one, let's jam. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Uh, easy, normal, hard nightmare. You got the classics. We're going with normal. Ooh, invitation to the wisdom. Okay, so already... SSS already together, so is this like a tutorial mission where we have everyone all together or something else? Okay, and yes, so this game does not have English voice acting. Unfortunately, I will say, because we've met, as far as I know, we met most of the characters that would talk in this game in CS3 and 4. Or in the intermission of right, the divertisement in CS2. Um, but I presume that they didn't want to add any costs onto this because they weren't exactly sure how well it'd sell, and so on, whatever. So for this game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the Japanese lines read, and then I will read them out afterwards. Um, because of that, I probably won't do as much voice acting, quote-unquote, voice acting, as I did in previous games, because... It would... I don't want to be compared to professional Japanese voice actresses, okay? Alright? Well, I will only have a tap for lurking while I play the game myself. Nice. Hey, thank you very much, Wolf Slash. But I'm glad that you dropped by. Yeah, I'm, I just started. I literally just hit start. Uh, they've all been in CS. Yeah, right? Like, I'm trying to think of any characters that haven't been in CS and... Uh, yeah, none of the SSS members have not been in CS. I think there have still been some crossbow characters that haven't, but I don't actually know all that many of them that haven't. Uh, well, Tio? It's exactly as I suspected. The higher elements, time, space, and mirage are indeed present. Okay, so we're going into a dungeon, and they're like, hey, how is it? It, I will say it is interesting because them speaking so um, clearly, I'm like, oh, I know I, I'm picking out like vocab words. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Warui, that's bad. And I heard Sora and I'm like, that's that, that that's sky kind of. I guess it might also be like space potentially. I don't know. I'm like, maybe. Just like the Tower and Temple. I was afraid of that. This will likely be our most difficult operation yet. 
I'm sure we'll run into more of those supernatural creeps here, too. Dude, he pulled the yare yare. He pulled the jo title. Yeah, I can already tell it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I see. Got it. Knowing our enemy, they'll try to ambush us. Everyone, keep your eyes open and stay sharp. Hey. Roger! Yes! Confirmed. So already, I like the character of, um... Uh, of these characters. Okay, so... Run is the inherent speed. Hold circle, I walk. Turbo is called high speed mode. Na -na -na -na, we love it. Triangle is the shortcut menu. Start can't be used. Okay, L1 is switch. Okay, now there, there's, there's attacks on the field. Okay. So this is where they added that. Love it. And L2 is to bring up this, which will be nice. Um... Square is this menu. Okay, I was... So it's it's weird having triangle be this weird shortcut menu. First game to do that, by the way. I mean, I could... Yeah, I mean, it didn't, they didn't have it in... They didn't have it in, uh... Third chapter, so this would have to be the first one. Um, it's weird having triangle be the sub-menu of, like, shortcuts, I guess, and square be the system menu. Because I feel... I, like, in Cold Steel, it was triangle to open up the the camp menu, if I remember right. Oh yeah, look at 200 save slots. That's what you love to see. Hey baby. Option, and that's where the options are. Record, detective notebook. Oh, okay. And it has points. Oh, okay. So are these like, um, Okay, so I'm guessing the points are somehow, like, one associated with the achievements in Steam. Like, chances are it's like one-to-one -one for a lot of these. But I'm guessing a second aspect is in New Game Plus, you probably use the points that you get through doing these things to unlock certain, like, carry-forwards. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and yeah, if I just hit square from here, this menu... I go right to the save menu. Yes! Awesome, we're all level 40. Their pre-achievement part of the game carried over to this arena. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So we're all level 40, so this is presumably... They're probably, it seems like they're pulling like a Cold Steel 1-esque type situation where where it's end media res. Um, where like we're already a portion of the way through the game and we're just tip it in. Although, I'm curious to know if this is about halfway, or if this is, like, more close to the end end. Uh, probably not too close to the end end, because that would, I feel like that would be a bit too far for end of your res. Uh, this hearts in that's nice. Oh, is that to tell you whereabouts in, like, their relationship, um, they are? Like, how much they love you? Um, if the points system is actually as I predicted it is, whereas the points... Uh, ha affect New Game Plus carry. That reminds me of the SMT Devil Survivor games, where depending on what you did and things, you got points to carry over, uh, like to to re redeem them for bonuses. And we had to keep track of our own hearts, Bry. Ah, quality of life. We got some good QOLs. What the? Okay. Got some nice scaffolding. But we got some... We got we got some ick down there. We got some gash. I can't even see the bottom. I wonder how far down it goes. Uh, they even say Aji. <laughs> okay. So it wasn't just like a localized uh, made-up term. Interesting. Well, up here, I'm guessing it's at least a good 500 RG. Yare, yare. Yare, yare, again. Jodoro and it up. Brandy is just Jodoro. Except probably gets a bit more puss. Um, man, getting all the way down there is going to be one hell of a trip. I, I, I will say I do like this character art. Like the, like the faces. 
Uh, like, I feel like... I feel like we almost missed a lot by having the character faces for... Like, the Cold Steel games be the in-game model faces. Like, not that those models were quote-unquote bad, but they don't age nearly as well as just, like, a still of the emotion. Like this, like a very well-drawn still of it. Um, but, oh well. Tio, what's wrong? Are you alright? You look so pale. I'm fine. It's just... This place brings back some unpleasant memories. Memories. Memories? Do you mean... The lodge on the Calvardian border where those bastards were all holed up, yeah? Yes. I believe this path was designed to resemble the road to Gehenna. Oh, really? The road to Gehenna, you say? Who's that I hear over on the horizon? Is it the. Hey, yo, it's Father Kevin! <laughs> Come on, guys! You're talking about Gehenna? You need Father Kevin coming over! Come on! Reese, stop eating the fucking cake, alright? We gotta go. Symbolizing the intention of those who walk it to renounce Adios and accept the devil's power. Ah, uh, so chances are we're dealing with the uh, the cult, the 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 was it the DG cult or something like that, the D something or therefore G cult. Probably dealing with them right now. To make all kinds of horrible offerings and sacrifices in exchange for that power. What vile people. <laughs> no wonder this place is giving me such a bad vibe. In that case, our mission is clear. I'm gonna pull up my orange turtleneck, and we'll... Keep on going down. For the sake of those who helped us come this far. For the, and for the girl who's waiting for us to come home. It's our duty to banish the shadows that lurk here and drag these devils out into the light. We'll put an end to all of the suffering they've caused. Lloyd. Man, you outdid yourself this time, Lloyd. That's gotta be one of your cheesiest speeches yet. But I'm with you. They want devils? Well, <laughs> let's give them hell. <laughs> I agree. Her enemy is like a spider, hiding in the shadows and pulling the strings of its web. But we've come a long way. We're not rookies anymore. We can bring them to justice. Right. We'll definitely win. Alright. Time to get going then. He said his name. That's probably part of the next one. <laughs> the next thing. The four of us. Members of the Crossbell Police Department. Special Support Section. We'll now commence our infiltration and settle this case once and for all. Okay. Fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was expecting a little bit more, but no, okay, so we're heading back to the start. Wait, was he having a prophetic dream? Huh? Is that what that was? <laughs> oh yeah, and the, and the neat part about it is, if I remember right, if I remember Neko Dave, uh, he said basically the Sky Trilogy, like, everything was voiced, and then in Zero, in the Crossbow Duology, it was like, 
the all the main story was voice acted, uh, but not like the side quests. And then it was in Cold Steel where it became only partially the main uh, quest. So we're going to actually have a lot of voice acting in this game, which is going to be nice. Where am I? Water, greenery, and blue sky. Oh. Right. I said goodbye to my aunt and uncle. Double checked all my luggage, board the train. And. Are you alright, dearie? It jolted right away. We're tossing and turning something fierce. Are you feeling under the weather? Oh, no, I'm fine. Just a little sleep deprived, that's all. I had the strangest dream, though. Oh, strange, you say? What kind of strange? Were you perhaps being swarmed by hordes of sexy ladies? What? No, I can't say it was that good of a dream. <laughs> I like how he admits, like, it, that would be a good dream, though. Now, now, dear, don't tease the poor boy. <laughs> so, warning. How about an ice cold lemonade to perk you up? Plays on par for Reed Harem from the beginning. Damn, look at him. I've got a whole bottle right here. Go on. Don't be shy. Sip it up. Slurp it like a dog. Oh, well, if you don't mind. Glug glug, motherfucker. Is this piss? Glug glug. <laughs> Thanks. That really hit the spot. Feeling better already. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Dressing mm -hmm. by your clothes? You aren't Arabonian. I had to guess, I'd say you're from Crossbell, right? No. Yes, sir. I lived abroad for a while, but I'm moving back to the city again. If you could tell that much, you two must be locals yourselves, then. Interesting. So I'm, I, I hope they say where he was, like, abroad. Like, was he in Calvert or something? <laughs> Yep, we just finished a little vacation in the Air Republic, and we're on our way home now. You're coming back from living abroad, I doubt you'll even recognize Crossbell. Uh, I think that's something to do with his detective training. Huh? That's true. The city has changed drastically over the past two years, three years. I thought that might be the case. I've caught glimpses of Crossbow City from train windows more than a few times recently. They've really added a lot of high rises, haven't they? <laughs> They have. After all, Crossbell's always been the leading trade city in Zemuria. Uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to sit with that lumbar pillow. I don't know. I don't get it. Fuck it. I don't need it. <laughs> Our ever-growing finance sector has seen a lot of foreign investors putting their money in development lately. 
一昨年の不戦条約以来その流れが加速したようだな Especially after the non-aggression pact signed in cold and trails in the sky. That was the throw one of the non-aggression pact. It was first chapter, right? Yeah, because that was when they were talking about the engine, and they were talking about around the tournament. If I remember right. Yeah. Especially after the non-aggression pact. Feels like we had new buildings going up as soon as the ink dry. Bakdai na mira no toshi taishou toshite departe yara office bill yara ga tsugi tsugi to tatterare tiru no jaya. Department stores, office buildings, with all the mira pouring in, these places popped up all over the city. Iro iro bendi ni natta no wa ii kere do, sukoshi memaguruisuku natta wa ni. I admit things have become much more convenient, but. I don't know if I like all the hustle and bustle. Everyone's always rushing around, busy with this or that. It's like we've all become slaves to time and Mira. Oh, maybe we've said a bit too much. I'm so sorry, dearie. Don't mind us old folk prattling on about doom and gloom. I hope we didn't ruin your big homecoming. No, it's quite all right. My friend said the same thing in his letters. But it doesn't matter how much has changed. Crossbow will always be my home. Of course. Hmm. Well said. I'm impressed to hear such words from someone your age. Compared to bright young men like you, all these new politicians are just. Bah, they're always the empire, this, or the republic, that. I'm sick of their partisan squabbling. Can't trust anyone except for old Mayor McDowell. Now, now, dear, calm down. Sorry about that. He tends to get carried away when it comes to politics. It's fine. Details like this are good to know. I was getting issues of the Crossbell Times when I was abroad. But I'd much rather hear about these things directly from the people they affect. Oh, a fellow avid reader of the Crossbell Times, eh? I'm no fan of all their trendy puff pieces, but every so often they'll put out some hard hitting articles. Wish they'd dive a bit deeper into issues with the Crossbell Diet, though. Is that so? Well, from the sound of it, there are plenty of topics to cover. No. Huh. So, it was in the course of two or three years that I guess a lot of the, like, like a big chunk of the industrialization and, like, expansion of Crossbell occurred, it seems, based on what these old people said. To the point where it's unrecognizable to returnees. Attention all passengers. We will be arriving in Crossbow City shortly. Passengers bound for Liberal or Remiferia via airship. Please disembark here to transfer. Additionally, per Zemurian Railroad Corporation bylaws, this train will remain at Crossbow Station for 30 minutes upon arrival. Passengers 
passengers bound for Erebonia, please have your entry application ready for the inspection officer. Hmm. Hmm. Sounds like we're almost there. Let's get our things together then. The less we see of those Imperial soldiers' ugly mugs, the better, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Will do. It's been three years since then. Made sure to keep in contact with Cecily, but... Yo! Oh yeah, his older brother's name is just Guy. <laughs> Guy. Cecily. Dude, like, look at, look at, look at you, look at this, look at this trio of, like, fan, like, kids, right? Like, they all look pretty darn good. Look at Lloyd with his hands in his pockets, or his thumbs in his pockets. Yeah. And I, I can tell you, that's, that's, that's definitely a young teenager way of standing. Damn. It was a nice fan. Finally back. Back to Crossbell. Our home. Yeah. Okay. This is good. Red light, green light. Oh, there, there's the dog. Hot shot, volume XX. <laughs> Best boy. Oh, look at these total not. I don't know, crap people. I don't know. Oh, hey. We know a vice principal who really likes uh, that that performance troupe. Oh, there's child. Oh, okay, there's cool guy. Oh, the bracer symbol behind them. Okay. Yes, dog. Child, we'd love to see it. Yep, and I, kn I know those stairs down to the SSS building from CS3 and CS4. Nihon Falcom Corporation. Period. <laughs> Prologue. Special support to Zekjean. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go into the stream. I'm gonna go into the stream and I'm just gonna make sure that, uh, long. Similar to how I'm doing uh, Xenoblade 3, that I make sure that there is like a indication of um, progress in case anyone wants to drop by. That way, they don't need to get spoiled. Landscape of the streets. I will say the like upscaling and stuff that they did in this version that the port did like with all the models and stuff um, just looks really good. All the textures look fantastic. Like I'm really enjoying the look of this because of us having the same kind of acting. <laughs> Funny. Crossbill Station.
Station Street. I know this one. This is one of the streets that it was hardest for me to figure out where it was because there was like one dude that gave you a book there and I think like CS3 I had trouble finding. <laughs> I was like, where is this street? Vincept. Or is it Vincept? Horrible store Genton. Yep, yep, there's the big bell. The cross bell bell. Yep, that's the, that's the main circle. There's the department store. Yup, yup, yup. Oh. Damn. Okay. Like, it feels weird for me to be having nostalgia for the game that introduces this area. <laughs> wow. Things really have changed. <laughs> you barely recognize the place with all these new department stores everywhere. Hmm? What's that building over there? Even playing them backwards, you can really say they tried to recreate one to one CSC. Oh yeah, no, like, like even in terms of like relative spacing, right? Like size of the models. Like, oh yeah, no, okay. If we're translating like the size of these models to like the actual scale versus the CS3, like if it seems like it's proper. Seems like it's appropriate. And it's it's damn impressive. Oh, that's the Arbor Star. It opened up just last year. I carried down every kind of Arbor device, from household items to vehicles. The shelves are lined with things from the Empire, Republic, Liberal, heck, even from the Epstein Foundation. You name it, they've got it. That, that's pretty impressive. You know, I've also noticed a lot more cars on the streets. You would hardly see them three years ago. Too true, Derry. There are more of them out and about, but even so, there's still a luxury only rich folk can afford because there hasn't been the Ford Model T created yet. The Ford Orbal T. I'm just thankful for our public transportation, said no one in New England. We have a bunch of buses that can take you wherever in the city you need to go. Why, there's even one that runs to the hospital down south every half hour on the dot. Wow, really? That is pretty convenient. Hard to believe so much has changed here in only three years. Well, probably best say our goodbyes here. You still have to report in for your job, right? No. Mm. Oh, yes, you're right. I want to at least help you carry your luggage home, though. Dude, Lloyd being like peak model citizen, right? Like, oh yeah, no, like this is. I'm a strapping young man. That 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 is what I should do as a proper strapping young man. Have you seen my shonen protagonistness? I, sh I should definitely do this. I should pick it up and carry it. <laughs> oh no, dear. Don't worry about us. We don't want to make you late for work on your first day. Why would you? Why would you take the train into the city on your first day of work? Anyone in their right mind would go in at least a day early. <laughs> right? He's right. No matter what you do, first impressions last. Remember that, son. <laughs> okay, I give up. You make a good point. Oh, that reminds me. Seeing as you just returned, do, do you have a place to stay? If you don't, I can introduce you to the inn over on East Street. Lovely place. 
I appreciate the offer, but I already have accommodation set up. My things have probably already arrived there by now, too. Ah, glad to hear it. Well, the two of us live near the end of East Street. If you ever need anything, don't hesitate to drop by. We'd love to have you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Once I'm settled in, I'll be sure to pay you a visit. Of course. Take care, lad. Hope to see you soon, dearie. Yo, you know what? Power to these old people that I don't even think they named. <laughs> was it just old lady? Or did they actually have names? I was just like not even looking. <laughs> huh. Oh, there's the black cat! Up on the top! I remember that bastard. Uh, or was it a black one in CS? Four or three? I can't quite remember. There was a cat on the top that you talked to with Celine. Um, I'm surprised that old place is still standing. Alright, uh, yeah, cop. Hey, thank you for the follow, Spencer TSBSC. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, still waiting for my copy due to delay. I couldn't get it yesterday, but they'll call when they have it. I was pissed 24 dollars. I spent total long over. Damn, <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, that that sucks. Yeah, it sucks when you order a game and then they don't even tell you it's been delayed. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say that about anything. It's it sucks when. They, sh they should have all the resources necessary to inform you on something being delayed, but then they just don't. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's rough. But, uh, hope you're doing well, Spencer. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, so, as a new person, you probably don't know my history. I've played all the Cold Steel games, played the, uh, played the Sky Trilogy. Now I'm playing this. Uh, hey, Mr. Lay, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Yes. I'm finally here. Deb. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Okay. I remember the crossbow times used to be in there. I wonder if they moved somewhere nicer. <laughs> Uh, I have as well. Love the series. One of my favorites of all time. Yeah, I definitely agree. Like, the... Like, the series as a whole is probably one of... Probably one of my favorite game series. And in terms of, like, overarching plot, it, I don't think there's really much comparison to any other series in terms of, like, number of entries with a continuous story. And it's fantastic. I love it. Got any favorite characters? Uh, because um, I think that this should answer any question you might have about mine. You know, just putting those out there. Um, but yeah, I hope you're doing well, Mr. Light. Ugh. Hope we're all having a good day today. Every single one of us. Every damn one of us. Joshua and Kevin, <laughs> damn good choices. Those are act those are really freaking good choices for favorite characters. Oh, we love it. Uh Okay. Seeing it again sure brings back memories. It really sticks out in the middle of all these new buildings though. Also, it's like sunk into the ground because you have to go downstairs to get to it. Well then, better get a move on. Lloyd took out a letter from his pocket. Officer Lloyd Bannings, you are assigned to the Crossbow Police Department's Special Support Section. Please, report in for duty on the designated date. CPD, HR Department. Did I tell you there was a UM called Deeming King Gilbert in Xeno 2000? No, you didn't, but that is fantastic. Gilbert! <laughs> now we know where Gilbert's been. Hey guys, I, I'm Deeming King Gilbert! <laughs> I'm gonna. You guys are gonna regret ever doubting me! <laughs> uh, so Spencer, because you haven't been here, basically when I played through Sky, when I played through any of my JRPGs, I voice act, quote unquote voice act, 
um, them. And that was approximately, I think, the voice that I gave Gilbert <laughs> in Sky. Because he just gives off, like, a littlest, whiniest bitch energy, and it's fantastic. Like, he's a character that you love to see because you know he's he's just garbage. <laughs> like, there are characters that's like, oh, I don't want to see you because I don't like seeing you because you're garbage. But then there are others that's like, they're peak garbage. They're just like, mwah, mwah. It, it's like how there are characters that you hate, but you love to hate them because they're well-written hate characters, right? Like, you're meant to hate them, and they're written in a way that, like, really, it's like, yes, good. I hate you goodly. Yes, this is this. <laughs> but not just like, ah, uh, you know, we just throw it in. If I knew multiplayer game to play with people sometimes, I feel like a single-player game science is driving me a bit socially insane. Um, could I always try Apex. Um... I don't know many multiplayer games, unfortunately. You like shooters, don't you? Like, um, Battlefield and other stuff? Any, any recent new shooters? Isn't the, there's, um, like a new Overwatch-esque Gundam game that came out, uh, that I've heard pretty decently good things about. Honestly, thought about trying it myself. Um, but CBD, CPD, not CBD. <laughs> uh, hey, Special support section. I don't remember that name ever popping up during my time at the police academy. Because it's new and special for you, you JRPG protagonist. Are you a JRPG protagonist? Have you been assigned a weird slip of fate? <laughs> Are random asinine terms falling into your pockets from every which way? Do you believe in the power of friendship? You can be the next JRPG protagonist. We choose you. <laughs> we need you. Uh, do you have a UI in your vision? Shit shooters. I like them. Probably aim assist as a kid made me think I was good. I'm also shit at shooters, but I mean, just because you're bad at something doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Um, do you have UI in your vision? Uh, yeah, that would be another one. Do you have UI in your vision that no one else has? Are you able to see XP when no one else can see XP? Then you're a JRPG protagonist. Yeah, I, 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 for a sec, I thought you were asking if there was UI in, like, the screen right now. And I like, that doesn't make sense. Although... Um, the Sakurai Presents, uh, YouTube channel, which I highly suggest watching because it's quite interesting, um, did actually have a UI episode today about, like, style versus, like, clear uh, clarity, which is really interesting. Uh, do you have an uncomfortable urge to pose after winning a fight? Um, uh, which is, what is your favorite game in this game? Okay, that one. I think, story-wise in terms of like individual game story it would have to be second chapter currently um sky second chapter i think is bar none like the the best story in my in 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 my opinion i think i, I think it's just really absolutely solid in all in all shapes all way shape and form um however I think in terms of gameplay, I like doing the best. I think I like Cold Steel 2, because it's a bit more open, and I feel like it's a bit easier to break than 3 or 4. Um, and that's why I actually sometimes speedrun that game. Because I just like running around, going fast in that game, and S-crafting literally everything immediately, and one-shotting it. Because I also only do New Game Plus speedruns. Uh, did God literally rip you out of your house and give you a sword of annihilation for no reason? You just might be a JRPG protagonist. <laughs> just maybe. Or you might be the villain. <laughs> Depending. Oh well, I guess I'll find out soon enough. I will speed on everything at least once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, hey man, I'm telling you, once Reverie comes out and I casually play through it, localized percent slash Western Sumeria percent. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be a subathon. It's gonna be fantastic. We're gonna love it. I okay. Oh well, I guess I'll find out soon enough. There we go. Thank you, L2. I'm sure the police department hasn't moved since the last time I was here. At least. Yes. 
Alright, let's do this, Lloyd Bannings. Look, guys, if I had a week off, I'd totally do this with percent <laughs> Legend of Heroes, Trails, and that's clean. That looks clean. You have a boomerang that has the power to fell entire kingdoms. You just might be a bee with food poisoning. That, or you might be Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. <laughs> From the PS2 era. I would do Zumeria Max percent. Jesus Christ, dude, that would be fucking insane. Sure enough, Crossbow Police Department hasn't changed much. Uh, and you, Spencer, what's uh, what's your favorite uh, Trails game? Oh, there we go. I'm already contemplating Erebonia AP percent. Jesus. Dude, that's gonna be amazing. I like Cold Steel 2 and 4, but you're right, Sky 2 is up there as well. Yeah. I mean, it's just like 2 and 4 of Cold Steel, I feel like are a bit stronger of that arc because you're able to kind of revisit areas whenever you want and they're a bit more open and each of the starts of those like half arcs are kind of like the lead up points and two and four are the climaxes of each of those bits so i feel like they hit a bit harder um but in terms of like a, a more self-contained narrative i guess kind of first chapter is most definitely a lead up to second chapter of course um but second chapter is just solid from start to finish like everything feels just great going through it. Like I would say the only slog part is when you have to go around the entire country again to like restart all the orbital communicators and you can't use your arts on all your characters. But oh well. Uh, I would do liberal BP percent, but who would have to cut out third? Okay. This is where I'll be working from here on out. Hasn't quite sunk in yet. Well then, enough standing around. Go check in with the receptionist. Uh, yeah, I just want the I just want the voice volume to be a bit more um a bit more prominent in the cutscenes. Okay. I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm gonna try and stick it to about 10 rotating saves that way because I know with I know with all the other um I know with the Cold Steel games I basically used up all the slots in, in the rotation because whatever um but in Sky I tried to keep it to like about two pages so I think I'm just gonna keep it to the first 10 in in zero all right got my humor out and there's a chess game time for relative silence I'll be curious to help <laughs> I guess it's my job as the streamer to try and get you to talk isn't it by saying things uh, okay, so we got attack members, we got support members, we got formation, okay, let's put him right up front. Good, good, good. Okay. And we got Lloyd level 3, so the starting area, we were level 40, so that tells us a bit. Um, got strength 43, ATS 36, like all the numbers seem so low compared to where they were the last time I played a chess game. Because <laughs> I was playing third. Love the music. Oh, the music is fantastic. Like, that's something that I think Falcom is just really good at. Like, the the OSTs in all the games are always just fantastic. It's awesome. It's like Nintendo level. <laughs> like, you can say what you want about any any like, Nintendo game, but, like, you gotta say, like, music fucking slaps in most Nintendo games. It's crazy. And Falcom games, East, Trails... Tokyo Xanadu, like, music slaps. And my job is to, mm, Bison is throwing out hypotheticals. Yeah, yeah it is. It's your job to throw out Kasumi from Persona 5 Royal when I throw out hypotheticals. When Persona 5 Royal comes out on PC, I'm gonna play through that. Still deciding if I want to play through that following a guide to 100% it on stream or not. Oops, I don't think this is the best time to be leaving. I should go greet the receptionist first. Be a good idea to ask her about my son while I'm at it. Persona is amazing. Persona is fantastic. The only one I was really able to get into was P5, and I was all, I did also play quite a bit of PQ, not PQ2 though, because um, that was at the latter end of the 3DS lifecycle. 
Um, I'll never be hooked into liking trail games. You can't make me. Well, I'm here when that's your game portfolio. <laughs> because I got other games in my portfolio. Because after this game, I'm playing Ratchet and Clank. And I'm also going to be playing E7. Because Fontano is a mad lad. And last time I streamed, he donated 15 subs. Even though I told him he could wait like a couple days before doing 10 gift subs. You generous bastard. <laughs> play, play a little bit of Persona? I mean, eh, you know, you only need a little bit to fall in love with the character, right? Especially one as, uh, one as instantaneously likable as, uh, Kasumi is. Hello there. Damn. I, I knew that entire sentence <laughs> without looking at the, without looking at the text bubble. I'd... Look at me, look at Duolingo. Bison, have you forgotten the Persona list? I mean, you know what? Yeah, no, I haven't. Fon so for anyone that doesn't know, Fontana's literally played through, I think, every Persona game. And probably a bit of the extended SMT stuff as well, beyond Persona. Played through, like, absolute craze, crazy lad. Played through Persona 1 and 2. And all the other ones, all the super old ones with no quality of life. Uh... Good day, and welcome to the Crossbow Police Department. How can I help you? Every Persona game except for Strikers. Oh. No. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I don't usually talk to pretty ladies. Uh -oh. My name is Lloyd Bannings, and I'm a new recruit here. I got a letter telling me to report into that. It's nice to meet you. Strikers is fantastic. So Strike, I do plan to play it. So once P5R comes out and I play it, I will play Strikers probably like right after because interestingly enough, I was playing Strikers like a couple days after it released, but then a couple days after it released was when I moved into this apartment and for anyone who was there, there at the time, as soon as I moved into this apartment is when I started being able to stream like a lot more instead of just weekend streams, and that's when I immediately jumped into Cold Steel 4. <laughs> and then I just kind of dropped Strikers by the wayside, and it's been sitting at like three hours played for a while. Um, you, I know so much Japanese! He goes, you died a lot in DS3. Yeah, I, I died, how many times did I die? I died like 70 or 80 something times throughout the entire thing, and like 20 of those were self-inflicted. <laughs> but hey, remember, I first tried Gale. <laughs> First tried Gale. And also I didn't get to see the cool super laser move from all that from that big dragon. I'm I'm pro like that. Been spending the last six months on Xenoblade. Yeah, you have. You've been spending a long time on Xenoblade. And you're not even done yet. Because <laughs> now you got Xeno Gears and Xeno Saga to play as well. But yeah, one, two, two again. The other two. Three, four, G, five, five, R, Q, Q2, and the dancing game. Oh, see, I could never do the dancing games. I'm terrible at rhythm games. Um, then do Q2 Xenoblade 3, it was great, finished it. I'm, that's the other game I'm streaming right now, Spencer. <laughs> Please feel free to go to my YouTube channel for the archives. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I'm playing that right now, I'm in Chapter 7, so. Just at the start of Chapter 7, so no spoilers. Love that series as well. Only played Xenoblade 2 prior to Xenoblade 3, so, yeah. But I did like both, so far. Oh, is that right? <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm always happy to see new members joining the force. Hmm, but... That's odd. Your worst nightmare as a new recruit. <laughs> There's no information in the system about a new recruit coming in today. Question of the S3 opinion, you got lost in the Windblade sauce. Still need to get good. Come on, man. Bellsword Windblades. Sell out Windblades. <laughs> With NordVPN in my left hand and ExpressVPN in my right, I am the sell out Windblade master. <laughs> yeah, but those, the DPS on those things is insane. But hey, a win's a win. I got good enough. Because I wasn't using magic. I didn't cheese it out with magic. It was all melee. Um, are you 
You sure you weren't supposed to go to the Crossbow Guardian Force? Yes, I'm positive that I've been assigned to the Crossbow Police Department. If you need proof, I can show you my detective qualifications I earned at the Police Academy. Wow, you passed the detective exam? That's amazing! It's not every day you see a newcomer this qualified. For anyone wondering, if you want it, just think of Goro Akechi from P5 say, saying all of Lloyd's things, because he was Lloyd's voice actor. He, the, vo the English voice actor for, for, for Goro Akechi, for that guy, you know, he's got a thing for playing young shonen detectives. <laughs> if only he also voiced Light Yagami. If only. Uh, although I guess it would be more L. It would be more of the detective side. Although I've never, I never, I have a very splattering knowledge of death now. Uh, but yeah. Do, 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 do. God, this music. It's so relaxing. Oh, and on the SMT question, not really. Only finished five. Oh, okay. Okay. SMT five. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, SMT five, it was all right. It wasn't the best SMT game. I think in terms of, like, story structure, SMT 4 was probably better. But there are some weaknesses to that game that I think are also kind of ridiculous. Um, never played SMT 4 Apocalypse. Look, I kind of want it. Um, no, it's not a big deal. I'm pretty sure I just got lucky. Besides, I was the only person that even took the exam this time. Oh, come on. No need to be so modest. I like her little hat. There's no point for it. Must be, honestly, it must be hard to, like... Like, unless there's, like, a clip in there, it must be hard to keep it balanced on her head. Like, it's not like... Like, like how does that, like... Like, right? Like, a regular, like, ball cap, it goes around your head to a point where, like, it kind of has, like, a traction on it. But that's just, like, on your head. Like, that's balancing. Like... She must have great posture if she can keep that up if there's no clip under there. But this is really bizarre. We should have been notified of your assignment already. Do you happen to know what division you were assigned to? Tiny hats need no physics. I mean, that's true. Tiny hat. Although I guess her, I guess her captain hat was, her captain hat was a bit big. That one was a regular hat, but the, the teacher hat, right? Cause she had a hat when she was a teacher. I feel like she did. If I remember correctly, I believe she did. Toe hat there. That one was that one was a bit small. Uh, oh, about that. I think it was called something like the special support section. I don't know why I'm saying this so oddly, as though I don't know what it was called, because I have the letter telling me to report and that I was assigned to this division that I could just pull out and show you? A special support section? Um, I don't recall us having a division by that name. <laughs> I get what Lloyd feels. Right, like, going into a place, it's like, hey, um, I'm here for this thing. Uh, we don't have any record of you here for X thing. Um... But I have the paper saying to come here for X thing. It's like, but we don't have any record of it. So eh, maybe you're wrong. And it's like, but I have a paper telling me to come here for the thing. Whenever I got, get an answer that feels wrong, I can't help but stay as a question. A? <laughs> is it A? <laughs> you're just always on Jeopardy. What is th this? Wait, it doesn't even exist? Uh, um, oh wait, j just a moment. I think I've heard that name somewhere, but I'm having a hard time remembering. Can you call your superior who might know? I like how they just have like a bonsai like big tree there like that doesn't it doesn't even seem like a ficus ficus 
fairly odd parents reference right there or like uh like a regular fern it looks like just a a tall bonsai tree <laughs> Uh, so one color that they had was Eagle Eye and the Light Quartz used to only affect the equipped teammate and they changed the group, so now you don't have, you have the person leading to have the effect. Nice! Awesome! Fucking love that. Oh, hey there. You made it. Oh, this guy smokes. Okay. Although I will say with, like, his hair that way and him smoking, he immediately, or, like, the model, at least, immediately gives me Nial or Niall, or Neil. I'm not sure. Niall. Neil. Like, vibes. Ah, Chief Sergei! You can just leave him to me, Fran. Unshaven, man. I wouldn't even say that's unshaven. Like, it looks like he did purposely shave to only have the little cop dad. He's one of the recruits from my division. Oh, I see. So that's what your new division is called. No wonder I couldn't find the name. It's almost like you're a fucking slacker for not telling the receptionist. <clears throat> yep, sorry to give you a scare like that. I'm sure we'll have the name in the files before long. Or maybe not. Hard to say if this team will last any longer than half a year. <laughs> we just didn't do the paperwork yet. Did enough paperwork to send me a letter to report for it. <laughs> um, sir? I'm Sergey Lowe, chief of the special support section. So you're Lloyd, huh? Yes, sir. Lloyd Bannings. Reporting for duty to the Crossbow Police Department Special Support. Uh, All oh, the formalities for now. Uh, uh, huh? Still a little early for to be reporting in for your assignment. For now, follow me. I'll introduce you to the team. Uh, okay. Receptionist friend. Um, well, best of luck. How many subs would it take to make you voice Lloyd as Far Lance? <sighs> I tell you what, I'm feeling absolutely parched. That'll be the hint. Serious question, just wanted to hear the far lands. <laughs> man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling real parched right now. If, uh, man, I'd, yeah, I feel like if I were to drink a whole bottle of smart water, that might keep me uh, well vocal cord lubed up to do far lands Lloyd for the rest of the game. <laughs> for, all, for the rest of the time, basically. But I guess I can give you a freebie the next voice line. <laughs> See, sometimes it's like you throw out a you throw out a thing like that, and I'd be like, okay, how serious do I have to take it? Cause I'm like, I can't say a hundred. That would be ridiculous. That's that's absurd. I'm not I'm not I'm not that much, but I'm also like, ooh, but if I give it if I say like one <laughs> That's low ball. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you have your work cut out for you, but just give it your all and you'll be fine. By some of my friends found a great meme post. Oh yeah? <laughs> that could say a post told me everything I needed to know. <laughs> Thanks. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about all this? Hey, file it, file it. Hey yo! Hey yo, what the hell are you doing over there? Th Thanks! Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about all this? God damn it. Show that on your general? Okay. Excuse me while I check out my general, because I want to see the meme post. Oh, it's the Xenoblade Chronicles meme post. Hey, yo. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't get this reference in, in Fire Emblem Sacred Stones, I, I voiced the noble uh, Farlands guy. I say noble Farlands guy. Uh, I forget his name. 
Uh, fucking, uh, you did call yourself a salad of burger. You know what? Yeah, dude. Fucking, I did. I, I was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I can't, I can't call myself not a sellout. <laughs> Uh, one day I'll just, I'll just do, I'll just do friggin' sponsor stream after sponsor stream when they're available. Uh, just absolute sellout. Call me the sellout by some, Ignace, that's the name. I did Ignace, uh, from Sacred Stones, and he was, gave him that accent. And he far lances. He shoot, he shoots his lances far. You know, the arrow. <laughs> oh. What the? Oh, look who finally decided to show up! Girl in black. Is that is that considered black? She's wearing like a blue cape. Nice. 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 Yeah. Uh, sorry for the wait, everyone. He's the final member of our little team. Don't just stand there. Introduce yourself. Right. All three of them look too young to be senior officers of the CPD. Are they also rookies? Then again, that girl looks like she's too young to even be part of the force. Hey, snap out of it. You ever gave him an introduction before? Hey, hard kid. Just give me your name and where you're from. S S sorry, sir. Like a certain man who would launch spear with a short bow. Yes, <laughs> like a certain man. <laughs> My name is Lloyd Bannings, and I was born in Crossbell. Until recently, I had been living abroad. But I've decided to return home in pursuit of joining the CPD. I look forward to working with all of you. Voice breaking. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lloyd. I like justice. Um, a uh, roaring dragon. <laughs> oh, oh, Wow, that was so proper and serious, I'm almost impressed. Hey there, I'm Randy. Randy Orlando. Just so you could have triangle advantage over freaking sword users and have better accuracy than a javelin. <laughs> Amen. My hobbies include the finer things in life, namely flirting with lovely ladies, gambling, and perusing the latest girly mags. If you ever want to borrow an issue from my prize collection, just let me know, yeah? Maybe a couple of remorse in parlor. Ah, okay. Were they were they named in the opening cutscene or were they just called old lady and old man and they're named afterwards? <laughs> You're what? Uh -huh. huh. Pleased to meet you. My name is Ellie McDowell. I'm Cross Bellin, much like yourself. Maybe I found the hand. I, I look forward to working with you. No. Oh. Likewise, your tits are massive. What? <laughs> Ah, oh, so she's from Lamon State. Okay. Tio Plato. Lamon State. I like how she just has a chest guard. <laughs> like, what's in that? <laughs> like, we don't see many people just actually wearing armor pieces in trails, even though they're all. Like, the closest wheel you get most of the time is like a pauldron. <laughs> this is like, hey, this is like a kind of chest piece. <laughs> like. <laughs> It's interesting, I like it. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you. Bow. Yeah, you too. Um, Chief Sergei. Hmm? What is it? I've been wondering, what exactly is the special support section? Zibun 
there are only a handful of members, and everyone here, myself included, is fairly young, almost like we're a group of shonen protagonists. Can can you tell me what we're doing? Well, there's been a lot of stuff going on here at the CPD lately. Hey, everyone at this table is a promising young rookie. <laughs> so, at the very least, it'll be nice to work with people your age, yeah? I guess, but, um... Is this really okay for a police division? Well, I can tell you, I'm glad we don't have any bossy old-timers looking down their noses at us. What in the world is this? That bad feeling of mine just keeps getting worse. It's like I need to fart, but can't. <laughs> One of the worst feelings in the world. Sergei speaking. Hmm, that's so. Good work. Is that portable communication device? I'm surprised they've already integrated them into the police force. Nice looking red blonde haired male detected woman as are confirmed. No further proof required. <laughs> yep. Hey man, you know. He, he 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 said he likes flirting with hot women, gambling. And perusing ladies' mags. He said flirting, not necessarily womanizing. You know, if he, if, if he, if maybe if he's in a relationship, he'll be strong and faithful. We have yet to see that, though. Yeah, yeah roger that. You leave the rest to us. Alright, rookies. Got good news for you. You want to know what kind of responsibilities the SSS is going to have, right? Well, we're about to go on a little trip where you can find out firsthand. Nice! Let's go to a sewer and kill some rats. Think how every good JRPG should start. Oh, am I. Wait. I was joking. <laughs> Station Street? Does he want us to follow him down the stairs? What exactly is down there? <laughs> You're 100% right. We're talking about sacred stones. I'm naming this man Joshua. <laughs> His name is Randy. It's Randy. We're going to the geo front. Dad. He told whoever he was talking to that we'd handle the rest. And I hope this isn't some sort of boring cleanup duty. I feel like Tio's gonna have a lot of ellipses voice boxes. She seems the character. And that door is the Geo Front. Vast network of tunnels running underneath Crossbell City. You guys will be making your way through it. Huh? Can you tell us why we're doing this? Yeah, what's this have to do with anything then? For starters, it'll serve as a test to evaluate your combat skills and overall aptitude. It might not be all that strong. There are a bunch of different monsters roaming around down there. Even though the Geofront is literally like our supercomputer. So why were we like one, how did the monsters get there in the first place? Is my question. And two, like, why would that not be like the biggest concern that you just have monsters roaming around down by like electrical equipment? He has red hair, like gambling, and over the religious blonde lady, I bet he is Joshua. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't use the killing edge, and he doesn't have a cool hat. <laughs> the Geo Run is everything. Sewer, AC, heating, internet. Ah, oh, okay. Who doesn't love your shit cool computers, everybody? <laughs> uh, my liquid cooled computer is actually liquid cooled by urine. <laughs> We just run that through, cools it right up. Uh, 
may not be all that strong, but there are a bunch of different monsters roaming around down there. It's your job to dispose of them and reach the deepest section of the tunnels. Look at saying that there are only like three PCs in the entire country. Yeah, there's the... Yeah. Eh. Yeah, I guess. Alright then. Combat test, huh? Fine by me. Wait a second. Test or not, why are we the ones going into an area infested with monsters? Isn't that a job for the Guardian Force? Oh man, this isn't the kind of work a typical detective would be doing. But you're members of the SSS, making a different story altogether. Come again? We'll talk details later. There has to be someone out there who went out of the way to liquid cool their PC with Dr. Pepper or something. I feel like that would be dangerous, because doesn't, like, soda, like, anything carbonated, I think when it heats, it, like, re it, like, builds up pressure very quickly. So having that as a coolant, I feel like would be pretty, would be pretty dangerous. So maybe, like, not carbonated? But I mean, I'm sure someone tried and <laughs> suffered because of it. But, yeah. First things first. Here. Sergei so gave a handheld device to each of the SSS members. Would this be... Is this the newest model of Orbment? Damn, it's pretty slick. I like it. Okay, the Enigma. A fifth generation battle Orbment. So, what was the? So this is fifth generation. So was it like we got second generation in first chapter, third in second, and then we had fourth by uh, by third. I don't know how liquid cooling works. I have a simple PC that turns on and off. That's still all I know after all this time. Now we get to enjoy the sharpest cords we've ever seen. Yeah, right. So, as far as I understand, liquid cooling basically works where you, like, have, like, a pump and you have, like, a, a, a thing. Because my PC is liquid cool, but I didn't, like, put it together. I ordered it. Um, where it has, like, a little, like, like, the CPU is, like, a little square, right? Like, uh, let's say it's this, right? And you put, like, a, a thing here. And basically my finger is the contact point. The finger, like, all of this would be the pipe. Uh, and there would be, like, a second pipe going. A to and from pipe. So sort of like... Sort of like this. Right? And this would be like the pump. So the liquid comes in, cold liquid, touches this, takes the heat away from the CPU through the contact, and then gets pumped out back into the pump. So the... If it were Dr. Pepper as the contact thing, it would be heating up and then presumably trying to cool down on its outflow to then be recycled back. However, I'm not sure how well Dr. Pepper could um, release heat. Uh, yeah, as you can see, quartz and enigmas are rectangular for some reason. Because, hey man, oh, and R1 gets this in case you want to look at the things. The enigma, fifth generation battle orbment. Did the previous orbits have names like this, the enigma? Or is this the first time they've, like, named a generation battle? Is it finally ready for combat? Ah. Yes, so. Foundation shipped him out a couple days ago. They've already been adjusted to fit your individual aptitudes. That's for how to use them. Tio, you're up. If I must. You also supplied with quartz for this particular model. Uh, yes, you're right. Sierra Mist is clearly a better choice. I mean, I would imagine the the um 
if if we're actually going to ponder this seriously, I would imagine the least viscous would be the best. The one that's like, in terms of like pourability, closest to water, like the essentially the least thick, right? I imagine root beer would be terrible, but Sierra Mist would honestly be pretty, would be better. Just combat armor, then upgrade combat armor. Okay, so yeah, they weren't named; they were just called them. Then Enigma, Enigma Two, and then Arcus units. Yeah. And then whatever they called them in uh, Kuro. Um, <clears throat> because I imagine in Reverie we're still using Arca, uh, Arcus units. Uh, yeah, it's not much, but here you go. Received quartz of each type. Also, you don't get far without this. <laughs> to your front A kit. Come back to headquarters once you've taken care of the monsters. We'll talk more after that. Oh my god, an hour, an hour 40 into the stream and I'm finally getting to combat because I've taken this very slow because you know why? We love, we love to take Trails games slow because there's lots of love. Yes, Reverie is Arcus 2, Kazuki is Enigma 2. Oh, okay. Inter interesting. Didn't realize they were going back to Enigma. But I'm guessing it's like Arcus is the Erebonian designed one, Enigma is just the... Um, the, the Epstein Foundation version, so I'm guessing we're using the Epstein ones in Calvert, which I guess makes sense. But didn't, um, I thought they had, were they called the Enigma ones? The, um, the special, um, the special ones that the, um, the Calvardian, like, special agents in CS3 and 4. Didn't they say they had, like, a special name? A different one? They're actually taking it seriously? I was about a joke that McDonald's right would probably self check the whole thing before you even turn the PC on due to the carbonation level. I mean, that honestly probably also wouldn't help. So you'd probably want the clearest, like, least, uh, least viscous. Or the most viscous? The, the less, the least thick soda with the least carbonation. See, it, 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 so Mr. Light, one thing that's quite interesting when you throw those things out, uh, in high school and college, one of my friends, um, randomly in the middle of the night, he would often get like these thoughts and he would always just text them to me when he had them. And I would usually wake up and just get blasted in the face by my phone and it, like, and it would be like those weird questions where it's like, if you're completely submerged in water, are you wet? <laughs> like, or it's like, is water wet? And I'm like, I'm like, uh, and then I got to have to like, because I wanted to give him an action answer, I'd have to like, be like, okay, how do I seriously contemplate this thing? And like the idea of like, hey, could you, could you liquid cool a PC with soda immediately activates that part of my brain <laughs> of like, okay, you know what? Yeah, let, let's think it over. <laughs> and honestly, I like it. So yeah, feel free to throw more of those. Are you ready for some re-shit naming? Oh yeah, love it. Let's go for it. All right, we're handing these over to you too. Detective notebook, combat notebook. How about the recipe notebook? How about the detective notebook. The special support section dutifully records events that happen throughout the game in the detective notebook. Uh, so Ramda, that's it. Is the Calvardian equivalent to Arcus? Yeah, the Ramda one. Sorry, don't be sorry. No need to be sorry. Which was then succeeded in Kuro by the Zifa. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, special special version do the records events that happen throughout the game in the detective notebook. Check its contents by selecting detective notebook after opening items from the camp menu or by pressing triangle right while on the field. An abbreviation for external interface for post-human activation. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh when you really want the X in the name, so you just arbitrarily decide, to, well, this word word has an X, so I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> you see the same sort of late night questions, but only in the form of horrific D and D character concepts. Ah, okay. From here, you can also refer to the help manual to review tutorials. How about the combat notebook? This special support section dutifully records the data of each enemy you fight in the combat notebook. Like the, notebook, like the detective notebook, you can view its contents by selecting combat notebook under items or by pressing triangle left on the field. Wait, you're leaving already? Yeah, I am. 
Oh, and Lloyd? You're a team leader for now. Me? Why? Because you're the only certified detective here. You're the only one with the qualifications. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, good luck, guys. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh, we love it. Yeah, qualifications! Yeah. <laughs> I like how they're probably all gonna accept it, too. Like, no, of them, like, because, like, I feel like that's just such a, um, a classic trope where it's like, why does he get to be the leader? I want to be the leader. And everyone here is probably just gonna be like, oh, fucking thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not. <laughs> right, like Randy, he's like, I didn't want to be a leader. Fuck that. That's your responsibility. Should do the short end of the stick, huh, Lloyd? <laughs> I do find it reassuring to have a proper detective on the team. <laughs> Pleasure to make your acquaintance, Detective Bannings. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you too, Ellie. It's if it's okay with you, I think we can drop the formalities, though. We're all about the same age, more or less. Oh, are we? I'm 18, by the way, which is totally legal in Crossbell. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so am I. So am I. Yeah, consensual. <laughs> what about you two? I'm 21. But I better not catch you calling me sir or anything like that. I'm gonna go get a beer. Let's kick some ass together, guys. Agreed. Glad to have you two here. And that leaves you, Tio. Mind telling us your age? Damn, 14? 14. 14. Would that be a problem? Would you rather I said 85? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, of course not. Wait, 14? <laughs> How about that? Turns out you're exactly as young as you look. Randy is 22, then I'm 14. <laughs> Hey, he's like a he's a Japanese person's idea of of twenty-one. <laughs> Looks fifteen. It's hard to believe you're already a police officer at that age. Uh, who is who is Lloyd's voice actor here? Because his like or I I don't wanna say who's his voice actor. What other characters has he voiced? Because this voice sounds so familiar. No backup. This doesn't make any sense. No matter how you look at it. You have to be at least 16 before you can even join the police force. How can someone who's not even old enough to have graduated Sunday school become a police officer? Because I am not one. Looks in his fucking early 30s. Oh, you think? <clears throat> I don't think he looks to be in his early 30s. I think he looks pretty young. Like, I don't think he looks all that much older than Lloyd. Oh, okay. I was transferred here by the Epstein Foundation for testing purposes. What? Foundation? Oh, didn't they just make these orbits we just got? I think I understand now. I've heard that Crossbow City has been cooperating with the Foundation on a large-scale project for several years. Correct. The Orbital Network Project. While somewhat related, the reason for my transfer is this. Oh, yo! It's an Orbital Staff! First one. Love it. Well, actually, is it the first Orbital Staff? Yeah, because every arts user prior to this, Chloe was sword, Olivier, gun. Tita is kind of mixed, but also gun. Um, Hot dancer chick, whip. 
He voiced Prompto FF15. I didn't play FF15 with Japanese dub on. Tetsuya Kihara Loyde. Fuck was I like a um other art yeah, every everyone who uses who's like art specialist has non-staff weapons. At least prior to this game. A mechanical staff? Correct again. It is called an orbal staff. I was transferred to test this weapon's effectiveness in real combat scenarios. Do you understand now, Lloyd? Hold on a second. Let me get this straight. You're telling me you're going to fight monsters with a staff? For a certified detective, you are exceptionally slow. I believe I made myself clear. What do you fail to comprehend? I guess he also voices voice acts not suit. That's it. That's it. Fucking that's who it is. <laughs> that like yeah, there's like a certain level of like scratchiness to the voice. That I'm like, yes, that's it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Light. Much appreciate it. Uh, Come on, guys. Bickering like this won't get us anyway. Now, I don't know exactly how dangerous this Geofron place is. We better make sure we're all focused. Sooner we finish this mission that old man forced on us, sooner we can get back. I still have a lot of questions, but yes, I agree. You're right. Arguing is pointless. I'm sorry if I offended you, Tio. It is fine. Your reaction was justified, given the information currently available to you. Now, back on topic. As I said, I will be utilizing my orbital staff to fight. What weapons do you three use? Ah, my weapon of choice? Well, I specialize in these. Motherfucking taunts! Like the motherfucking badass from Kotekyo Hitman Reborn. But I think it's like Hibari or something. Bari Kyoya, I think. Yeah, he's also Una from Nanbaka. I never watched Nanbaka, unfortunately. But yeah, I think it's Hibari Kyoya from Kotekyo Hitman Reborn. The. The dude who has like the porcupine and like the cloud element ring. He has his taunt and he's a fucking badass and everyone's afraid of him. Rightfully so. Uh, are there some sort of police batons? Nah, those are taunfas. They're an eastern weapon. Yeah. May I hear it? They're designed to focus on self-defense and suppression, rather than offensive power. I see. Fitting choice for a police officer, then. I tried out other weapons, but these felt the most natural. So, what about you two? Ah, oh, right. Take a look. I'm packing fucking heat, bitch! An orbital gun. It appears to be an older model, though. Maybe, but it's beautifully crafted. It was custom made for marksmanship competitions. Maybe an oldie, but its precision is unparalleled. Oh, confidence! I like it. Now, let me introduce you to my partner in crime. Big fucking halberd. That's quite the weapon, Randy. 
Like similar to the halberds used by knights during the Middle Ages. We've seen them in our factories before. There's a crypt with a unit that converts orbital energy into shockwaves. Ah, Bingo! This baby's called a stun halberd. This way can make it difficult to get the hang of, but it's unmatched in terms of raw power. That's until you just get a fucking greatsword out or one of the big sights in a future game, you know, just... Go say, go put that there! Koha Ren from Magi. Is Koha Ren... Is, wait, huh? is he the one that also used the spear? Is he the one that had, like, the plant arm at one point? Or was Co or was that one of the other brothers from like that family? Can't quite remember. Impressive. Well, I still don't understand quite how Tio's staff works. I think overall we make a pretty balanced team. And I'm glad that we have all these weapons and that we're always gonna use these exact weapons throughout the entirety of the game. We're not gonna acknowledge that we're buying new weapons and replacing the beautifully crafted gun that Ellie just said that it, she had and any of these. I'm just glad, I'm glad that we're not gonna recognize them. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> The only game that I feel like I've played that recognizes when you get new weapons is East, and that's because Adol is holding the sword, and every game he loses the previous best sword that he had. <laughs> as far as when they explain Tio's deal. Uh, it's probably one of the reasons the four of us were put together in the first place. Keep my act all laid back and casual. He's actually pretty serious when it comes down to it. I concur. I will save the explanation of my staff specifications for later. For now, would you like me to explain how our battle orbits work? Yes, please. That'd be great. Very well. Basically, an orbit is a device that uses orbital energy to generate various phenomena. Rolling the jaws and Black Lagoon. Never, yeah, I never watched that show either. From simple lighting, cooling, and heating systems to engines that power cars and trains. All of them require energy output by orbments. The so-called battle orbment is essentially a small portable orbment that is specifically designed to be used in combat. The ones we received are the newest models, which were developed by the Epstein Foundation. Like its predecessors, it functions by drawing power from crystal circuits called quartz. Quartz are created by processing septium fragments known as sepith. Once made, they can be placed into the actual ordnance. Didn't Chief Sergei hand you some before he left Tio? It's hard to tell when they're about to stop or when they've stopped. Indeed. All we have to do is set them into the slots in our orbits. The elemental value and combination of quartz will determine which orbital arts are available to the user. Still looking through his career list, but as well, Lloyd Knott's gonna guy from some video game called Blaze Blue. Ah, Blaze Blue. Yeah, that's a fighting game. Also had an anime. And not good at fighting games, I don't really play them. But, power to it. Uh, with Ragnar the Blood Edge. That's the only character I remember from it. Although the character design in Blaze Blue is very good. I like the character designs, just don't like fighting games. Uh, ours can be more effective than melee attacks, depending on the monster. 
魔獣との戦闘に入る前にきちんと用意しておかないといけないのさ That's why we should properly configure each of our ordnance before tackling the geofront なるほど魔獣と戦うためのとても重要な要素というわけね Understood I'll be sure to keep that in mind during the battles to come 遊撃士協会や警備隊でも採用されてるくらいだしな Even the brace そう思って間違いないと思うぜ Simone from Grand Lagan Yo Yeah That's another big one And the Bracer Guild and Guardian Force use them. No wonder there's no reason why we shouldn't, eh? One, one more thing. Battle ornaments are fine tuned to each individual user, meaning that the circuit layout varies from person to person. You're not a teenage man until 2007. Ah, okay. For example, some slots are restricted to courts with a specific elemental attribute. The Sepith lines may differ as well. <laughs> right? Like, how do they find you? I'm like, the scent of a. Yeah, right? Like, like, it is questionable. It's like, how do you know unless you're holding it and doing it? Or do we just scam? Yeah, right? And also, once again, my question, why can't you have multiple ones that are all, like, for you? Why can't I have, like, the Battle Lordman, the Advanced Battle Lordman, and an Enigma all on at the same time? Right? If they're all attuned to me, why can't I do it? Bison, I know we've talked about it. Yeah, I know, I know. We've been over this. Yeah. Cosmic Race. <laughs> yeah, right. Awesome, the whole 2013 on TV. Okay, interesting. However, we can compare the differences in our orphans and other time. Global arts no classy sky katawa. Just send the boy to hold a yi de shoshi. As for arts, it will be better to learn about those during actual combat. So I'll stop my explanation here. Okay, the yoko katawa. Arigato, tio cha. Thank you, tio. That was very helpful. You are welcome. Tika, singa tat te te mo. Mukashi no to sky katawa amari kawara ni mitai da na. Is in the Pokemon Diamond Pro. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Seems like these new models work pretty much the same way as the old ones, yeah? <laughs> if you've played the previous games, you should get this. <laughs> it should be easy and understandable. More or less, if you have experience with previous models, you should not have much trouble using these. The main difference from older ornaments is the addition of a new function. And that would be... A lot of other stuff that I knew nothing about, but it was an impressively long list. Oh yeah, no, I, I, there was no doubt that the voice actor was prolific, because I re easily recognized his voice. But it was... It was just driving me. I was like, where... What, what characters do I know these from? Like, Simon, Natsu, like, yeah. Those are the big ones. This is the first pitfall of the run, I know. If you take this prom, not only does it waste time, but a tutorial fight happens after. Ah, okay. Interesting. So for the missions, so do not concern yourself with the yeah. Let's instead focus on the task at hand. Yeah, you're right. That just makes me even more curious. <sighs> okay then, let's make sure our ornaments are ready before heading into the geofront. So have us have a set our courts, we'll get our first mission underway. Understood. Time to pop in some courts. Please set a courts for each party member. You can do this by selecting ornament from the camp menu and then selecting courts. Noteworthy beginning! Yo, baby! Achievement unlocked. You've earned a noteworthy beginning achievement for receiving the Tagno Notebook. As you can see, during the game, you may unlock achievements when fulfilling certain conditions. Unlocking achievements will also give you points that you can use to unlock various features after clearing the game. You can check your achievements by selecting Record under the System menu in the Camp menu. And this is Combat Detective. Nice. Prologue. Damn. Really fills up the screen.
Like, I feel like the, um... Okay, here we go. Um, I feel like the, uh, whatchamacallums, like, the notebooks in Sky didn't fill up the screen nearly as much. Um, oh yeah, battle evaluations, first strike, counter advantage, bonus battle chain, triple counter, counterattack three times, okay, okay. Immovable, win without any party members changing position. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So, were these with battle evaluations present in the sky, or is this where they added them? Because I feel like this is where they added them. Notebooks, recipe notebook. I don't know recipes yet. Fishing? I don't know fishing. DP. Detective points. Nice. Oh, this tells me literally what I get at each one of them. Uh, Lunar Gem, Absorb Time, Space, and Mirage Magic, that seems pretty darn good. Power Suit, Strega P, Aquarius Gem, Effect Notice to HP Recovery is Multiplied, that's uh, that's great. Grail Lock prevents all elements, yep, that's good. Gladiator Bell, CPR Armor, we want that. Ingenuity, EB Slayer Recovers, that's alright. Justice Coin, Accuracy plus 10%, prevents death blows, you always have these, okay. Uh, bravery, strike, CP recovery as in a battle, gladiator heaven, yep, on those, septium vein, yeah, definitely want that. Yep, 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 okay, cool. Achievements, yes. Lists, ah, here we go. Here's all the spells. Once again, water, a bunch of spells. Okay, and here's a list of all the courts, okay. Okay. Oh, and then there's the combination one. Okay, quartz, space, forest gem, solar gem. Is there a domination gem? <laughs> probably not. That's probably added in a uh, Sagittarius gem. Okay. Prankster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Evade three. Oh, okay, so now we're in the point where there's evasion percentages, and it's just straight up evasion percent. I know what I want to do. Now that I'm not dealing with like just like random agility as the descriptor. Torts. Okay. So his line is. It's kind of an all rounder. It's a middle, and then three and three. Defense attack evade. Okay, and is okay. So each of the so eight is just percent. This game also can introduce runaway percentages. Oh, lovely. Um. Okay. So um. You know, let's give him attack. Let's give. Okay, her middle one is wind. Her middle one is water. Okay, so hit. Okay, so Lloyd's middle one is an any, which is better, but everyone else has a specific, uh, specific elemental middle type. It's unfortunate themes. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got crest. Defense, okay, and then Stone Spike. Was it always called Stone Spike, or was it called like Stone Spire or something in the previous games? Um, sparkle. Calls down lightning from above. Okay, the Servant Tear, yeah, that's always been that. Ice Skull Edge, yeah. Forte, yep. And fireball, yep. Fireball! 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 Okay, State Map. Okay, so Mishalem down there, St. Ursula, yep, 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 West Frost Bell, Bellguard Gate, Mains Mining Village, Armorica Village, yeah, I know about that, Old Armorica Road, Tangram Gate, yep, 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 Sparkle! Sparkle, Sparkle! Sparkle, Sparkle, Sparkle! Summon fucking lightning! Let's do it, let's Sparkle! Mation. Okay, so let's do this, got my... We're on you. Here we go. Nice. 
Nice Y shape. Medium range, because like she's gonna be arts in it up, I imagine. Uh, move her. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll do that. She's gonna be arts in up from the back. These two are melee guys, and she's ranged. But I have not missed any DP. Yo, nice! Are you following a guide or just going off of memory? Good cover recess, though. So Tiger Charge is his S-Craft. So they all have S-Crafts right now, which is awesome. Not setting, not not holding that back. Axle Rush, Area S, okay. So it doesn't tell me any power. So they haven't introduced that yet. Uh, God, I do remember most of the first three chapters. For that. Okay. Uh, Orin, L, Revive, and HP Heal. Okay, Attack 1. Okay. Ether Buster Line. Support, Defense, ADF, Mass 22. Oh, and that's Analyze, so I'm going to be using that a lot. Um, Crimson Gale. Yep, yep, yep. Burn, 100%. Nice. Area M, Power Smash, Area S. Delay. Good. Delay, delay, delay. We like delays. Okay, so let's save. Because I haven't saved in a long time. Okay. Door's locked. Door being unlocked with a geofront. A sector key. Just key. The door was unlocked. Oh yeah, there's the geofront music. I haven't played the rest much. Uh, GOTB actually skips half the game. Yeah, yeah. Because you're telling me like you just like, what, clip through like a wall or something? And get through it? You clip through a wall to the final bit. Yeah. So the, the geo front. I'd heard rumors about it, but I never expected to find a place like this beneath the city. Yeah. Now that's a relief. I thought we were going to be trudging through some nasty-ass sewage, honestly. According to database records, the Geofront's construction began at approximately the same time Crossbell ventured into large-scale urban planning 20 years ago. It initially included water supply and sewage systems, as well as a waste disposal plant. Mobile cables and additional modern tech were added later. Yeah. Well, it's safe to say that this place isn't at all what I expected it to be. Central Square is directly above us, right? It's unsettling to think that monsters are roaming around right beneath our feet every day. The area is usually sealed off, so monsters cannot exactly wander onto the streets. However, there have been reports of maintenance workers being assaulted while working down here, which is exactly why I'm so surprised that monsters are even permitted to live down here, right? Like, how do they get here? Why have they not immediately tried to exterminate all monsters? Like, just do a massive thorough sweep. Like... I don't get it. It's not like these are rats. They're, like, massive slime monsters and, like, flying fish and shit. Like, it's... It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy, baby. I tried in Sky Second I mean, I guess they did, but that was like more of a sewer sewer, right? Where in my head I'm like, yeah, they, like, they have to have like an out valve going out. But I mean like this, it's like at least all like the tech parts, right? Like this doesn't... I don't know. It took the entire Royal Army to even control the monster population for a week. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Unfortunately, the police seem to be too busy at the moment to provide appropriate countermeasures for these incidents. So I have no idea. 
Could this be one of the reasons why the special sports section was created? No, uh, there was some event where the enemy cleared the monsters off the roads and grounds. Ah, okay, yeah, that that part. Ma, sore nara sore de wakariyasukute ii kedo na. I'd be fine with that. At the very least, monster extermination is nice and simple. Alright then, our mission this time is clear. Whether this is a detective's job, whether this is a, detec a detective's job or not, it's a job that needs to be done. Let's not worry about whether this is a test or not. Let's not worry about whether this is a test or not. Focus on doing the best job we can. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, sounds like Mr. Serious Business is getting all fired up. So, he's right. We should take advantage of this mission to refresh ourselves with the basics. One step at a time. Roger. This machine, found in dangerous areas, is an orbit charging station. You can fully recover HP and EP by inspecting and select rest. When the party is in critical condition, try using these to get them back in fighting shape. Alright, if you ever find yourselves in a pinch, let's come back here and heal up. So I like this game because it's immediately throwing you in with a full party. Like four party members, whereas in first chapter it was two party members and then with an added like Shara or Agate here or there. And then like sometimes you would get four. But there were large sections of the game where you only had two or three people. Um, and then Cold Steel, it starts you with three and then immediately jumps you to four like early on um, in the first dungeon. But I like this because it's like, hey, we're, we're going to presume that you played through Sky and are familiar with the system and having four people immediately is overwhelming. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so it's a similar tune. Four going on 40. Doors locked and cannot be opened. Speed. I am speed. I am speed! Yeah, there we go. Would you like to go through the battle tutorial? You know what? Yes. Yes, I would. There. The old man wasn't kidding. So that's a monster. This will be our first combat operation as a team. Let's proceed carefully and strike. Monsters cannot be seen from far away. When close enough, they'll become visible, unless you have a corpse. Initial battle advantage changes depending on how you encounter them. Gain the advantage by sneaking up behind them, but they can do the same to you. When the confirm button is pressed on the field, the lead party member will perform a field attack. It is possible to stun a monster by striking them when they don't see you. If you initiate the encounter when they're stunned, the party will gain an even greater advantage. Encounters! Press the ascent. Yep, there we go. Community in one of four ways. Wagon to stun enemy. Max advantage. Strike first. Increase team attack chance. Wagon enemy from behind. Advantage. Strike first. Yeah, Wagon enemy from the front. Standard. No effect. Why enemy walks into player from behind. Enemy strikes first. Drive a significant high. Your field attacks instantly defeat enemies. Nice, 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 nice. Um, yeah, so that's like the single, double, and triple advantages. Go. Successful ambush. Get over the barrier. OST disc on track five. God, get over that barrier! A T bar indicates whose turn it is. Everyone has crits? Oh my god. Indicates whose turn it is and the order of upcoming turns. It starts from the top and moves down. These icons indicate bonuses allotted to the AT bar order. If a bonus icon appears next to a character's icon on their turn, they will receive that bonus. HP heal, Sabbath up. Each has bonuses has different effects. Okay, so do I have... Damn, I don't have any discovers or analyzer, whatever they're called. Spyglass, eyeglass, or whatever they're... Yeah. Attack an enemy. The highlighted area is the distance the character's attacks can reach. Selecting a target in this area will move the character to attack it. When a target is out of your range, your cursor will become meh. Selecting an out of range target will move the character as close to it as possible, but no attack will be performed. Battle scope, that's the thing. Bam! Bitch. Ikuza! Ikuza! 
Okay, this is move. Okay. Yeah. So does getting like the max advantage just guarantee um just guarantee crits? Like is that the advantage that it gives you? Because that's what it seems like it is. Very much. Damn, that's awesome. That's much better than the, uh... Like, they really nerfed that in, uh... In the future games. <laughs> this is our power. Seven rush plus one for strike. Yeah, unscathed. There we go. Total bonus XP. Oh, I love it. I love this screen. It looks so good. Also gives the chance of rushes, which is the best similar to burst. Okay. Oh. God, I love it. I don't know what it is, but seeing level up bars go up as like XP count goes up or down, like I love it. Like I think that I think there's just something so satisfying about it. Like I really liked it. I don't know why, but some, there was something about the way that it worked in Octobat Traveler, the way it was shown in Octobat Traveler that I just adored. Oh, and uh, you know, drops like that. Okay, yeah. marbled steak. Love it. Geo. All right, we did it. Ma Guess the old man wasn't kidding about how weak these things are either. But maybe. But at least we learned a little about each of our fighting styles. I was especially surprised by Tio's herbal staff. Yeah, so was I. Was that some sort of art you fired off of it? Essentially. Unlike normal arts, there is a chance that my attacks will miss the enemy. However, the energy the staff generates functions as a short-range burst of arts, without the casting time. Nice! We can come up with a bunch of different tactics with something like that on our side. That's the goal for this technology. Oh, her breastplate is even, like, important. Also, if I could direct your attention to the breastplate that I am wearing. This links with the herbal staff systems and provides me with a protective field. Increasing my defensive capabilities. As such, I am able to withstand much more than my physique suggests. Should the need arise, I can take the front lines without issue. Incredible. This truly is cutting edge technology. Might as well take advantage of it, eh? Hmm. Even so, I'm not really sure if I'm comfortable having a little girl in harm's way. No. I... Never mind. <laughs> you calling me a little girl? Ooh, it's a chest! Obtained tear bomb, and the chest is empty. The chest is empty. Oh. Oh, you bastard. They had the first chests have the chest mesh and say the chest is empty. They knew. But I know better. I know better. What the heck is that email? Oh, is that Marnie? Love it. Ugh, huh? heck is this? Some blob of goo? <laughs> yeah. I think arts will be more effective than our weapons against these types of monsters. Let's give our enigmas a whirl during this fight, everyone. Yes, good idea. Roger. So... Is there... There we go. Is there an attack type? In this game? Or is that only calling a row you done fucked up, hey, Ron? Yeah. 
Um, is there attack types in this game? Is my is my is my big question, right? Like how there was like blunt and strike and pierce in previous ones to determine whether or not you would get the stun. Because that makes me think like it would just probably be better to have like Ellie always leading because she has like the biggest range. I think it's based on stats and levels. Okay. Arts. Effective against enemies that are hard to hit and or resistant to physical attacks. It takes time for arts to be cast, consuming a set amount of EP. All arts are associated with different elements. Strategically identify which elements is the most effective against the enemy. See, the thing is, right, like... Wait, what the hell? It, this, the thing is, right, like my... Oh, attack, recovery, debilitate, support, okay. Okay, now I got my criticals, so I don't feel like using them right now. Yeah, it's really not effective. Okay, I guess that I guess that gets me. Um, let's try that. But you're big, strong. Nice ledge. Okay, 150. So these guys just are beefy. They just have health. Stone spike. Oh, yeah, details. Okay, so a lot more of it's hidden from me than in Sky. Because in Sky, right, it was, like, inherently upon, like, looking at it, they would at least tell you the elemental weaknesses. Um... Yeah, but this one, it's like you used it and you discovered it. And this guy, they always should, yeah. Let's just have her move. Yeah. Sparkle! Lightning! Stone spike. Oh yeah, I didn't actually kill the other one, did I? Tia does have Analyze, a la Elliot, by the way. Yeah, yeah, she does. But that's as a, uh, that's as a craft, so I'll have to, I'll have to use that separately. Uh, she doesn't have enough CP, I guess. Or I haven't learned how to do crafts yet, unfortunately. Um, okay, so fire, earth, literally everything but water, which is the thing. But she uses that, so that's a bit more effective. Um, and frankly, being real. They don't dodge well. Just... Okay, overkill, seven rush, first strike, good. See, I'm not playing off a new game plus save file, so I'm actually gonna have to watch out for my Sepeth and AP and EP, which I didn't have to in Sky. <laughs> Because it was just like, oh yeah, no, I got enough. Uh, it's, it's good to be back in almost like the OG Cold Steel kind of way, where it's like, oh yeah, no, I, did, I don't have unlimited everything now. Alright, let's try using crafts against the enemy this time. Hey, Neko Dave, how's it going, my man? Saw you streaming. Were you streaming Kuro 2 or are you streaming Zero? Get Rex Barriers. Alright, let's try using crafts against the enemy this time. Combined with our arts, wide range of tactics are open to us. Uh, Crosswell has a lot of separate to be honest, and I think it's like a thematic decision. Okay, Kuro 2, nice. No spoilers with Kuro 2, but I'm hoping you're enjoying it. Yes, let us fight effectively. One of the reasons people want crossbows is they've always had rich separate preserves. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's my time to shine. Trust me, you don't want to miss any of my killer moves. Watch and learn. <laughs> Try not to hurt yourself. Okay, so that, that. Yeah. Smoke grenade! Smoke grenade! Chest is empty. Mm, a second chest that says it's empty. Boom. There you go. Success on ambush. Right, yeah, you said so. Okay. Crafts. Crafts are character specific skills which not only deal damage but also have a broad range of effects. Using crafts consumes CP. Craft points. CP is gradually gained by dealing or receiving damage during battle. Craft. Triple burst. 
Tripa the Bast. Uh, but I don't need it because I got Chris. Bang. Bang, bang, bang. Craft. Yeah, I want to analyze because I want to know more about you. Uh, but it also does defense down, so I'll do it on the one that I haven't hit already. Yep. Okay. Kako roaches. Uh, we'll leave middle flower. They don't like earth or fire. Insect that swarms over the leftovers of strong monsters emits a deafening sound wave. Okay, let's just whack you. Uh, oh crap, I thought I was gonna have. Uh, here we go. Axel Rush! There we go. Dissonance. Uh, strength down, not great. Oh, the vibration of my controller makes it feel like I'm actually getting hit! Ah, you bastard! Okay. So, let's... Oh, I thought I, I thought I could hit from that. Um, crap, triple burst. 74, 72. Only 39. Alright. Uh, crap. How what's the match? And there we go. Killed both. And they were going to be delayed as well. Ow. Yes. Ow. Ow. Craft. Ether Buster. Art. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Just to take the, uh, 10% heal away. Ow. Ow. Yes. Stop it. Okay. First strike, yeah. And I presume after the next fight, I'll probably level and get healed, so that's good. Okay. Uh, ooh, okay, so it's telling me to go this way. But I want to go this way because I presume it's exploration. No, this is the way I came in. Cool. Okay, so I want to go this way for exploration. There we go. Sepith. Dude, the music, is, the music is good. There we go. The chest is empty. Ha, gotcha. You thought we forgot, huh? <laughs> you should see the look on your face. There we go. I, I I do like that. The idea of like we're gonna fake them out by having the first two chests say the chest is empty. But then then the reveal. Damn, the boys are just crawling with monsters. Find all these pests one by one is getting to be a serious pain. Should you try using S crafts to take them out all at once then? Bow shouldn't last long if we use the power of S crafts and S breaks. <laughs> so interesting that this is like a conversation that they're having because that means it's in canon that CP is like a resource that they have to actively charge <laughs> and, they, and they recognize this. It's not just like fighting spirit. S crafts, powerful moves that can be performed at the cost of at least 100 CP. It seems like the perfect opportunity to test them out. CP brand energy bars. Or ice cream. <laughs> My ice craft can heal us, so don't hesitate to rely on me if you're in trouble. Yeah, so like, right, like it's... It's like, right, like I'm playing... Right, like that's good range. That's, right, that's very close. And that's like super far away. And if there's no like deciding factor around it, like there's nothing that like screams, hey, this is the character. Like I guess the only benefit of using each of the characters is it seems like the one that you encounter the enemy with gets first turn. I think cops are carrying around ice cream bars in their pockets. I mean, some of them probably. Yeah, I like how they're saying, hey, you should use you should use S-Crafts, but then proceed, it's like, oh yeah, no. 
Once a character has 100 or more CP, an S-Craft can be unleashed at any time, ignoring the Battle Order. This is called an S-Break, something that took me a long time to learn in Cold Steel 1. I think Neko Dave, you're the one that coached me through it, how it actually works. Uh, way back in the day. Each character's S break can be set to a specific S craft under status in the camp menu. Lloyd does two swings, Ellie and Randy have one, and Tia has a slow multi hit swing. I mean, he does do two, but I mean, just the range of it, right? Like, if you have to hit the enemy from behind anyway, then I would say hitting them from the farthest away is probably the best, right? Because what does two swings do? Um, you scared of S-Break? Yeah, there we go. Triangle, uh, activates corresponding S-Break. If the character's icon, uh, you cannot activate their S-Break. Let's try activating an S-Break for real. Triangle, uh, activates it. After activating, it cannot be canceled. Bitch, I don't wanna! I don't wanna! I don't wanna do it! I wanted to take all my crit- Well, I guess I chose the one that heals. So I guess that's fine. See, I wish they had, had some like subtitles for what she's actually saying, like translated. I crit healed. Is that a thing? Crit healing? Um. Analyze. Yep. Uh, it doesn't like earth, water. Okay. Win. So, the difference in color between earth and fire, for my terrible eyes, it, it's like, it's barely there, I gotta say, or it might be my monitor or something. It's just, like, not there. What the hell is going on? Resistances. Oh, it lists out all the potential things and says which ones it has resistance. Yeah, okay. Blind bat monster uses a sense of smell track bows. Okay. Exactly. Power smash. It's a power smash. M. Okay. okay. Let's come over here. Whack you dead. Hi. Let me use my arts. <laughs> yeah, I can transfer saves from my old PC version to this one now. Good for my new game plus 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 playthrough one day. Yeah, dude, that, like that, that's the most impressive thing that they're like somehow able to configure, configure it so that you could pull from the, the previous versions. Like when I read that, I was like, that's insane. That's awesome. Damn. Uh, drink some liquids. Flipping vampire bats. Yes, hit them all. Uh, you know, I don't want to. I'm, because the reason why I'm not using the S-Crafts is because I wanted to save them up for what I presume is an upcoming boss fight. <laughs> and if I use them all now... Oh, that's great. Those are great sound effects. Oh. Love it. We love to hear it. And that should heal me. Yeah, baby! We love games that heal on level. So, Bison, are you gonna finish the game before I go work? Uh, no, probably not. Probably not. I mean, it's also, I've been streaming for two and a half hours, so chances are what's gonna happen is I'm gonna beat whatever boss I'm approaching. Um, and then. That seems like the way out. And then. Um, uh, and then. Uh, what you call it? Simultaneous attack. Team Rush. When this bonus appears, a simultaneous attack can be performed. You may choose to cancel and perform a normal attack. Okay. Nice. So, Team Rush. So, it's just a random chance to be able to do a burst attack. Interesting. I was not expecting that to be a thing. Okay. Awesome. 
Power count, good. Uh, okay, craft analyze. A rat monster that likes the dark, its hard ears can be both a shield and a weapon. You need all that. This is also unskippable and unjust. Okay. Okay. Obtain reviving bomb. The chest is empty. Or is it? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, am I going in the correct way, or am I supposed to go up that ladder? Okay, I'm gonna go check the ladder first, because that seemed... Because they gave me a new tutorial, so... Ladder to the surface? What's this doing here? Seems as though it leads to a street-level manhole. However, there's no record of it in the database. It's been left open like that, though. Who knows? Perhaps someone at City Hall forgot to close it. Should be sure to report this to them once we're done here. Agreed. I wonder if that's like a, a detective point thing. Oh, and the enemies don't respawn because I guess I didn't leave enough of the area. To warrant it, because it wasn't that a thing where like you have to leave like the area area to like get enemies to respawn, which is like the annoying part about like palm farming in this game in particular. There we go. Oh, okay. Counters when attack misses the target will counterattack if they are in range. Hi. Thank you. So evade tanks. Good. Oh god, don't get me started on palms. Yeah. So evade tanks totally a thing in this game. If you if you if you build it. Because in this game they Haha, yeah, you thought you could attack you thought you could attack my party members? Haha, you fool. You fool. I turned that option off! You fool. No. Oh. Stop looking at me. Go. Successful ambush. Yes. Even more Andre E uh, evasion tanks are the only way to win. Dude, evasion tanks, man, I love it. Like, evasion tanks are the best. Like Fee in Cold Steel is fantastic. Like easily one of my favorite evasion tanks in any game, just because of like her kit being very well built for it. Go. Right, like Kurt, they, they were going for it, but he's too close range. It's unfortunate. Even though they literally give him like, oh, here's the brandish mode, like here's the special mode to make him even better. So equip this and just let him dodge things. And it's like, well, I would love to. However, um, he doesn't hit most of the people that he dodges because his range is tiny. Then there's just, then there's just Fee over there. He's just like, oh yeah, you know, I can just hit from eight miles away. And it's fantastic. There you go. Awesome. Give me all that XP. Boom. Right, like the range is so good in that. The range is so good on, on Ellie's. I'm like, why do you, why would you want to use someone that's closer? You because at that point you run the chance of them looking at you and you don't get the full advantage. Tear bomb. That's not really a tear bomb, you know. It's a bottle of my actual tears because of this blatant theft. And this looks like boss door. I'll just save over that one. Oh, there's a chest, I see it. <laughs> it's so dark. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It sounds like a child is crying. 
hell's going on down here? Ain't this place supposed to be sealed off from the public? Why are you asking me? All I know is that officially, yes, the public should not have access to the Geofront. We can figure that out later. Right now, we need to find whoever's down here. You're right. Oh, is, it, is this? Oh, it's pipes. Love it. Go. Ah, this is so neat. I want to go home. What do I do? At this rate, I. Hey, is someone there? Who's <laughs> there? There you are. Thank goodness we found you. Are you okay? You weren't hurt, are you? I don't really need to voice act this. Whoa. Poor kid was really spooked. I think as soon as he realized he was safe, all of his emotions just overwhelmed him at once. Lloyd, I'll take care of this. Uh, okay, go ahead. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, I'm the One-San character. There, there. You were really scared, huh? She even says One-San. Everything is okay now, I promise. Don't worry, we'll protect you. <laughs> Okay. We took care of all those mean monsters outside. How about we head back now, okay? Let's get out of this dark, cramped place. I can carry you if you want. Just make sure to hold on tight, okay? I'm fine. I can walk by myself. I don't want to get in the way of your combat, basically. <laughs> My, what a brave boy you are. What's your name? Oh, it's Henri. <laughs> She's got away with kids, that's for sure. Henri. See, for a sec, I was like, is this going to be Hacker Boy? In CS, uh, from like CS, uh, uh, is he introduced in 4? In the Cold Steel? Hacker Boy? But no, I was like, no, this isn't him. Well then, Henri, can you tell me how you ended up in a place like this? Yona, that's it. Yeah, not yet. Geo front should have been locked, so how did you manage to get inside? Um, well... We were playing near the big bell in Central Square. When we opened this weird lid on the ground, we found a ladder leading down here. Oh yeah, because you know what? That, that like I'm more surprised that they're able to open them. Because like if that's the meant to be like a manhole cover, those things are fucking heavy. Like, they're not meant to be moved. So, so and then so, you decided to see with the manhole lid, eh? We'll need to add that entrance to the database once we finish here. Back up just a second. You said we. Are you saying you didn't come down here alone? <gasps> yeah. My friend Ryu said we were going on an adventure, and then you tried to hadoken the shit out of me. But then I responded with the Soryuken, and then the, and then a girl came over and she did the Hasata Papatuken, and she fucking helicoptered across the screen. But when we got down here, some monsters started chasing us and we got separated. 
That was just crying noises. <laughs> so that's what happened. So that's the full story. Lloyd, what should we do? Let me think. Take the boy in return for now. Search for the other boy with him. We need, we need to get to that kid. Like, I guarantee this is a detective point thing. We need to get to that kid as fast as possible. There are monsters down here. Hey, 50 Mira. How's it going, my man? Dabs in the chat for 50. Uh, <clears throat> There's no time to waste. We'll just have to take Henri with us while we're looking for Ryu. The copy is arriving tomorrow. Nice. Did you get the special edition? Because I just got the, uh, I just have the Steam PC one. I'm playing on my PS5 controller. Yep, limited edition. See, I, like... See, I'm too deep into owning games. Like, the games not, like... If I get a special edition, it would have to start with whenever Kuro comes. Because I wouldn't want to start getting special editions in the middle of an arc. <laughs> and because I haven't gotten any special editions for Sky or, Cro or, or Cold Steel, I'm like... And I'd be starting in the middle of various arcs. I'm just like, you know, I, if I do start getting special editions for for trails, it'll start with whatever Kura is called. <laughs> um, yeah. Got the PS4 one. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Uh, there's no time to waste. Which seven? Yeah, we just have to take on with us while we're looking for Ryu. Should we not prioritize getting this child to safety? Zero CS4. Ah, uh, okay. You can always split up. I'm going to take Henry back and the other half keep up the search. You're no, that's too big of a risk. It'd be a bad idea to split our combat strength in half like that down here. Ellie, can I put you in charge of protecting Henry? Yes, leave him to me. If you come across any monsters, I won't let them lay a hand on him. Once again, I'm money in my account again. I'll buy the Ellie and the US. Ah, okay, nice. Andy, <laughs> you're, you're not that crazy. <laughs> uh, we're going to find your friend, Henri. I promise you. Although, speaking of special limited editions, I, I'm probably, like, when it comes up or whatever it is, I'm probably going to get the Fire Emblem Gage Fire Edition, uh, limited edition, or what special edition, because, like, like, I've been seeing, like, some, like, early, like, combat showings of it, and that game looks fucking good. <laughs> like, like, I want it. I want that game, man. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah, man, dude. I want to play as Pepsi Chan, all right? Just have the Evos by themselves right now and feel... Uh, yeah, off the other side of the other. Okay. Yeah. But it's dangerous for you to stay here alone. So we're going to take you with us, okay? We just need you to be brave for a little bit longer. Do you think you can do that? Okay. I'm worried about you too, so I'll help you look. That's, that's the spirit. Did I make the right choice, Fontana? Was that was that the detective points choice? <laughs> Alright, everyone. This is now an escort mission on top of being a rescue op. Let's be even more careful from here on out. I bought Celeste, uh, Celsetta twice for PS4, since the first time I actually bought the standard one. Ah, okay. Yeah, look at me, I made the right detective choice. I have a feeling in this game it's gonna be just, if you choose the smart option, you get the points. Eh. Of course. Understood. Alright, let's go find our other little adventure then. Yeah. But uh, speaking of Salsetta, Fontano, in his generosity, met the E7 sub goal after meeting the Ratchet and Clank one. So after I beat this game, I will be playing Ratchet and Clank and E7, presumably in different time slots. So um, yeah, look forward to those. Henri has joined the party. If an NPC is KO'd in battle, it will be game over. Protect them at all costs. Wow, great. First mission and we already are escorting. Lovely. That's what we love to see. 
Although I will say, in terms of like escort missions, the Trails games, by their combat design, they're not the worst. Like they are not the most obnoxious in terms of combat or in terms of like escort. Because like the big thing with escort is like, especially in this game, it's like, oh yeah, they just tag them on at the end of the party. They go as fast as you. You just have to worry about them getting KO'd in combat. At least it's not a cat. Oh. <laughs> There's actual detection. Yeah. You'll take a lost child with you, but not me. I see how it is. Dude, if I could carry a chest with me, I would take it. Because you know what? One of my favorite things in JRPGs or in any game is when a person uses a non-standard item as a weapon. Like, what's this phrase from P4? Using a fucking chair as a weapon? Love it. Um, in Xenoblade 3, there's a dude who has gauntlets made of anchors. Love it. Like, it's my favorite thing. Where it's like, I either did not have enough money or I'm too simplistic to think of how to use a weapon properly. Conj, that's it. So it's like, I'm going to pick up a thing and this thing is now my my weapon. Like, um, like fucking Bridget in, uh, in, uh, Guilty Gear that just came out because she was making splashes using yo-yos. I'm like, I love that. <laughs> Battle yo-yo. Uh, yeah. Battle Yo-Yo Bridget, trans rights, we agree. Um, but yeah, like, I love when people use things like that. Uh, let's put lighter with him, prevents freeze, yeah. That's probably smart, because chances are there's gonna be an ice enemy down here. Um, there we go, tag you from 18 miles away. Protect all NPCs. If an NPC HP reaches zero, it is game over. Game over. Whack you, bitch. I'm trying to think of like other characters, notably, that use um, odd objects or like non-standard weapon, non-standard weapons. Sahad? Oh yeah, he just uses an anchor too, huh? Yeah, anchor, pretty good weapon. You know? uh, yeah, because I mean, Rakota's weapons are like, specifically maces. Battle scopes are one way you can scan enemies for the combat notebook. You should probably get on that, detective. Oh, <laughs> the chest message is the tutorial for battle scopes. Love it. Um, yeah. Uh, take a picture with the English VA of Sa. Nice. Hope he, I hope he was nice. He sounds. He has a. He has a nice fatherly voice. Oh wait, got it flipped turned upside down. Man, it's almost like they should put in a mini map instead of just this weird end thing. Although there is a mini map because in the systems, it says. Minimap show. This is the minimap located at the top right. So at some point there's gonna be a minimap and presumably not just a north sign. Yes, uh they also did Leomon's way. Uh also did Leomon's way. Okay. See, it's been a while since I've um uh since I've <laughs> watched Digimon, so I can't really place Leomon's voice, but, yeah. Uh, you need an eye for that, but even then some areas will just be a skin. Ah, okay. Man, getting my hopes up with mini-map and not just compass. <laughs> Stay away from me! <laughs> okay. Somebody help! Adios, please save me! Dangerous situation. Oh my god, it's Kaya! <laughs> they, they love indicating a child by putting a like beanie with a puff on the top. Like only children have that hat, I believe. Oh my god, thank you, Kenny! Uh, you! <laughs> Attack the monsters from behind, draw the monster's attention. Ah, oh, fuck. Um. I feel like attack the monster behind is what I would want to do, right? However, 
I need them to stop looking at him. Because I don't want him to, to like get the brunt of it. See, in my mind, both of these are smart decisions. Because this one, it's like, oh, advantageously be able to take him out quickly. However, this one, it's like, I need to keep the kids safe. Ellie, try to draw their attention. Understood. Oh, uh, trick question doesn't matter for DP. Damn. Oh well. I I I think I made the choice, the, the quote unquote right choice. Even though it doesn't matter, there is no right choice. Your plan seems to have worked for now. All right, let's take them out. But they're all slimes, so that's already annoying. Um, art. Uh, oh yeah, and of course, first one I get. Uh, well, still better than not. Um, art, firebolt. Um. Okay, you bitch. Uh, of course, he's the one that got frozen. Um, lovely. Um. You die. Okay. Hey, like, can you not, please? I've been playing these games again since I was on PC since I deleted them before I got bigger space. Ah, okay. Nice. That'll be fun. Uh, craft. Of course. Um, oh wait, I'm an idiot. Um... Okay, you need to use this. Oh, yours is a single attack. Um... Oh wait, I shouldn't have been turbo in that. <laughs> I'm a fool. You only... God, how much health do these things have? Item, tear bomb, water scope, smoke grenade, warmer. Cures freeze. Oh yeah. Um, are you frozen? No, it's not frozen anymore. Um, she can't, she can't heal from here. Um, Sparkle, he's sealed for a couple turns. Kid might be fucking dead. <laughs> Counter. Oh, missed. Good. Arts, you need you need to heal him. Yeah, you can't do anything as you're sealed. You can't freeze him because he has the warmer on. Okay, back to full health. Good. Okay, Art, Icicle Edge. Work on you. Arts, Firebolt. Um, I can... Fine with taking continuous damage. Alright, okay, good. Let's go ahead and check it. Swap to that one. Alright, sparkle. Okay, so now let's get to. Bam. Oh, okay, I thought that was gonna kill. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh. Uh, can't. can't hit from here. Whatever. Probably doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. <sighs> oh, there's another one there? <laughs> Randy's body was blocking him so perfectly. I thought I was thought I was gonna be done soon. I guess I, I guess soon is the relative term. And I mean that quite literally, it is relative. Child, stop moving towards the slime, please. This is our power. Yeah, if I were smart, I would have immediately done some S breaks, but I forgot. <laughs> that I had. <laughs> I thought I forgot that I had my CP trick. <laughs> want to know something fun? Yes, I do want to know something fun. Yeah. <laughs> you did it somehow. <laughs> Man, those are some tough customers, huh? <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. Ryu, I'm so glad to see you. Are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, of course I'm fine. There's a secret objective in that fight. <sighs> uh, 
whatever. It doesn't really matter. I'm... I mean, I'm not gonna redo the fight. Like, as I said, I'm gonna be going through this as blind as possible. Now, I'm going through as blind as possible. If you want to give me what that secret objective was, then please feel free to tell me. But, I'm presuming it was like, kill all of them at once, or S-Craft a certain number of times, or don't let kid take damage, or some... One of those things. Yeah, I mean, of course I'm fine. I'm just glad to see you're okay. The objective was do not let either child take any damage. Yeah, I can, I can figure that. That makes sense. I mean, you're so clumsy all the time. I was worried you'd be monster shy without me there to save you. You're one to talk. You were this close to getting gobbled up just a second ago. This is all your fault anyway. You were the one who said we should come in here. What? Nuh-uh. You were the one who was all like, oh, the Geofront's so cool. But I never actually wanted to go inside. Alright, that's enough, you two. No more fighting. S sorry. Hmm? I haven't seen you guys around town before. You must be new. You seem pretty strong for a bunch of rookies, though. Huh? And you seem a bit too big for your britches, kid. About a little gratitude, huh? We did just save your hide. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Thanks for the save. Got a little iffy there for a sec. My man should get out with only a couple scratches. So would this voice line pass? Or would this voice line be different if he didn't take any damage? Like he'd be like, oh, I'm completely untouched. I guess you guys pass. Just barely. <laughs> Sure. Huh? <laughs> well, it's true that we still have room to improve. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay now, though. And now that you're both safe, we should get out of here. Agreed. I believe this is as far as we can go in this sector anyway. Meaning we've completed Chief Sergei's mission, too. True. Ma no way in hell was I expecting something like this to go down. After we get these rascals home, we should go report back to HQ, yeah? Hmm? Something wrong? Well, I was just thinking. You guys are rookies, right? Ah, uh, Huh? Yeah, we are. But how did you know? We don't have uniforms like the rest of the department does, although you you do. Huh? Uniforms? Um, could it be... Oh, uh, okay, they thought they were rookie bracers, not rookie, uh, rookie police people. Are you guys not from the guild? What? By guild, you mean the Bracer Guild, right? Well, I'm not sure not talking about the Fisherman's Guild. Are you kidding me? You really aren't Bracers? And starting up the trend of, hey, the first game made us Bracers. Uh, now the second arc is gonna be like, hey, you're doing bracer stuff, but you're not bracers. And then the third arc is, you're doing bracer stuff, but you're not bracers. <laughs> Every time it's gonna be, hey, you're doing bracer activities, but you're not bracers. <laughs> we want to be bracers, right? Like, no, the only one, the only time you get to play as a bracer is when you're playing as a Stellan Joshua. That's it. Never again. Ever. Get out of here.
<laughs> uh, you might have a bracer in your party, but you're you're not all bracers. Brace yourselves. You're not bracers. Fuck! Damn it! Damn it! Yeah. Um. Well, no. We're all new recruits at the Crossbow Police Department. Huh? You're the freaking police? No way, since when the police officers go stomping around in the geo front? Face yourselves, the SSS is coming. <laughs> well, we weren't stomping around. We came down here for a mission. And just so happened to find you two while we were at it. And now we're cops, so we're gonna arrest you. Is it really that strange? Of course it is! <laughs> Everyone knows the police are just a bunch of cowards and pigs! What? A cab? What? No! <laughs> Dad's always saying that even though they act all high and mighty, they never actually help anyone. And they are just, you know, tax feeding pigs. I find it funny why the SSS was set up for. <laughs> Tell me the braces are ten times better when you need help, which honestly is pretty true. Braces are kind of like superheroes in this world. It's like, hey, I need you to do, I need you to go find my dog and also save the world. Uh, when do you need it done by? Can you get it done by noon? Can you give me till one? I can give you till noon thirty. Can I get some coffee? Sure. <laughs> Thanks. Basically, the cop is without wait for it borders. Yeah, right. <laughs> the only thing they can't deal do is politics. <laughs> Uh, which, I mean, cops ignore anyway, right? <laughs> if, you, if there's enough money. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, of course. You, don't be rude. Oh, yeah. Get, get over that border. Get over the barrier. Uh, does it matter if they're a police officer or not? They're the ones who saved us, after all. I know that. I was just disappointed they weren't from the guild, is all. Lloyd was in the CSPD. Would his other job be working at border control? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like, I feel like that's the the case with literally every Trails Pro tag, where it's like, we're gonna set them up in such a way where they're obviously not bracers, but. You know, it's like, if they weren't doing the thing that they were doing, it's like, oh yeah, being a bracer is the obvious second choice. Right? Like, like if Reen weren't, wasn't arbitrarily thrown into a teaching position because uh, I guess he wanted to be a teacher, even though that was never insinuated whatsoever, um, then he would probably be a bracer. <laughs> if Lloyd wasn't a, a detective cop helping people, chances are, after experiencing, I guess, the game's events, I would presume you would go on to be a bracer. Um, because, I mean, the SSS does their SSX activities even as that. I mean, he was a crude, yeah, right? And I presume that that's just the case. And it's like, when you think about, like, Kevin, right? He's going around doing church things, but a lot of those church things would probably coincide with what bracers would do generally. So, bracer activity. So, if he wasn't a priest, probably a bracer. <laughs> So, I mean, like, it just comes down to everyone, everyone on the main characters would probably just default to, like, ah, I need a job. Be a bracer. <laughs> and the thing is, the bracer guy would be like, yo, you in, bitch. We can give you rank B right off the bat. You've saved, you've saved the world a couple times. <laughs> we gotta give you a B at least. <laughs> Although, I guess, I guess that isn't necessarily true, because what, Fee was, he wasn't just, like, given good rank. She had to she was just the youngest senior bracer ever, but I believe she wasn't, like, jumped up in rank because of it. <clears throat> uh, just, yeah. Mm. 
Sounds like we ain't got the best reputation, huh? Hold up. We got company. Huh? Above us? Oh, here's the boss. I'm glad I didn't use all my CP. Oh no! What the heck? Crap. This is the head honcho? It's enormous. This is bad. The door behind us is locked. We've been cornered. Damn. At this rate. Hey, what are you gonna do? If we go all out, we don't stand a chance with our current gear. Okay, we're gonna get saved by someone. I know that. Listen, I'll draw its attention. You guys take the kids and find a way out. We'll have to use his ogre mode. Yeah, right. What are you talking about? Are you insane? It's our only option. Y'all gonna die. Yep. Randy, Ellie, take the kids and run. Now. Is this really the only way? But. Yare yare. Yare Good grief. Self-sacrifice is admirable. Don't be too eager to meet your grave. Need some salt? Yeah, right. Oh, yo, what's up? Man. Hello there, sir. Oh, cool guy. He's got a katana. He studied the blue. <laughs> While you were out getting bitches, Lloyd. He was studying the blade. What? Uh. <gasps> Holy. Unbelievable. My eyes could not keep up. Oh yeah, and this is Arya, so it just so happens that a bracer actually comes and, like, saves, saves them. Saves the saviors, and it's like, oh yeah, we were right to be like, yo, the bracer killed is pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Remember Chill's first chapter having a demo in Japan? Wait, it did? Damn. So cool! Steal the thunder. Okay, so they know him, okay. That was freaking sweet! You're the best, Arios! Man, that was the most awesome thing ever! I can't believe I got to see it in person! Thank you for saving us, Arios! But, why are you here? And where Cassius saves you from monsters in the tower, but in the demo is a different monster. Oh, interesting. Right, Yuna X, Braces are superheroes to crossbow. Damn, okay. Interesting. I mean, Yuna acts like insane towards the SSS, absolute fangirl gushing. Uh, so I didn't realize that I extended to Bracers. Well, I read a report that mentioned two kids were seen entering Central Square's manhole. So, I decided to look into it. You two really shouldn't have come down here. What would you have done if no one showed up to rescue you? I'm sorry. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> well, we're both on hunt. So, we'll leave it at that. It's getting late. Let's get you home. Sounds good to me! Yes, sir! <laughs> Just gonna leave without saying anything. What's the matter? You aren't intending to stay down here, are you? Huh? Uh, oh, uh... No, we aren't. We'll head back with you, if you don't mind. In that case, quit dawdling. You could very well be ambushed a second time. Don't let your guard down until we're out. A bit... a bit terse with us. Ha! 
Who's that smug old jerk think he is? In any event, he had a real intense look in his eyes. His physical abilities were anything but ordinary as well. Just who is he? So that's Arios. Uh, oh, does our little does our own little Mademoiselle you know that guy? <laughs> Only by name. <laughs> also, why are you calling me that? That's not my name. Yeah, I just kind of felt like it. Fancy name for a fancy lady. So, can I spill the beans or what? Who is that guy? Randy with the best nicknames. If I'm not mistaken, that was... Arios McLean. Arios McLean. Finger guns. <laughs> Pay import fee for zero a minute ago? Damn, rough. I've seen his name show up in the Crossbell Times before. He's an A-rank bracer, who operates out of the Bracer Guild's crossbow branch. 22 euros, ooh. Fucking import fees, man. That's rough. <laughs> but, obviously not special edition. Or limited edition. Completes every request to perfection and has earned the citizens' utmost trust. They call him the Guardian of Crossbell. Back. So, has Joshua found his next girl yet? <laughs> nope, but we did meet, uh, presumably, a lady killer, Arios McLean, who studied the blade. We'll be here tomorrow morning. I hope it's in the city center now. Yeah. Gotta get to work. Okay, see you later, Fontana. Yeah, once I'm done with this cutscene and get control, that's probably where I'm gonna end the stream as well, <laughs> because I've been going for over three hours. But I'm going to be streaming this on Friday and probably on Saturday and then on Monday. I'm not going to go crazy and do a Sunday stream as well. <laughs> the Divine Blade of Wind. Arios McLean. Oh, the Divine Blade of Wind. Oh, yo, picture. It's her. What's going on? Well, 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 look at you, Arios, accomplishing yet another astounding feat. <laughs> Saving these young boys from the jaws of mortal danger, no thanks to our city's sloppy management system. Brilliant! It's the perfect scoop for our next issue. Oh, cool. Does that mean we're going to be in a magazine? Is that a good thing, though? I feel like we'll just get in more trouble. Please don't make a scene, Grace. Well, I can't deny the city's shoddy facility management. These two children were in the wrong as well. And I don't appreciate biased news stories. Ah, oh, don't be like that, Arios. All I'm doing is attentively responding to the needs of my readers. And what's this? It looks like we have some interesting new guests this time around. Hmm? The first expedition of the team that carries the CPD's future on its back, the Special Support Section. <laughs> Alas, the, these fledglings were unable to complete their mission and had to rely, as per usual, on the power of the Heroic Bracer Guild. Yo, okay, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. Will this budding team, now aware of their utter lack of experience, be able to overcome the trials in store for them? Trails, not trials. What are you talking about? Is this chick okay? 
All I hear is gibberish. She appears to be part of the media. I think she's a Crossbell Times journalist, actually. I don't approve of you jumping to conclusions about them either, Grace. After all, they are the ones who initially saved the children, not me. Although, it's true that they failed to see things through to the end. <laughs> Bitch, you didn't even let me try to fight the boss. Like, you just one-shot him immediately. You, you cutscene prevented me from even attempting. <laughs> I was- I had S-crafts. My oh my, it's just like I thought, isn't it? I think I've got plenty of juicy morsels for my article now. If you happen to read it, don't let it get you down, okay? Just think of it as my own special way of encouraging you. Well then, Arios, have you given any more thought to that one-on-one -on -one interview? I've already told you, I'm not interested. And if you frame one-on-one -on -one interview as though it is not us fucking in a bedroom, one more time, then I'm going to be mad. I don't like it when people mislead me. I wanted to talk, not fuck. <laughs> what just happened? You know, making us out to be fools really pisses me off. Well, shame. Say she's my type, but she seems a little cuckoo. Or cuckoo. Oh, That's not really the issue here. Uh, can you imagine Arya sounding like Captain Holt from Brooklyn Nine-Nine? See, I've only seen like one episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, so I can't place a I can't place a name or like a way of talking to a character, unfortunately. So, Lloyd, what do we do next? No. Oh. Ah, well. Sergei Kachoga dashta kadai wa kuriya shita shi. Ittan keisas honbu ni modoro. We at least finished Chief Sergei's mission, so let's head back to Horde Course for now. Kodomo tachi no ken ni tsuite mo kichin to hokok shi nai to. We'll have to file a report about the kids while we're at it. Kore wa? Is that? Our bad lordments. They have built in comms? Looks that way. Press the red button to switch the communication mode. That will accept the upcoming call, too. This one right here? Um, this is Lloyd Bannings. Chief Sergei, is that you? Ah, ah, Lloyd. It's me, Fran. The receptionist from the police department? Oh, right. And this morning. Is something the matter? Well, the thing is... Could you please return to HQ as soon as possible? God, love Fran. I like her voice, and she seems like a very chipper individual. Like, like I've yet to see a female design in this game that I'm not like, you know what? That's pretty good. They're all pretty damn good. The vice commissioner wants to have a word with you. The, the vice commissioner? What was going through those thick skulls of yours? Ah, oh, okay, we got this kind of guy. He's not even important enough to get his own portrait. That tells you a lot. You deviated from your mission and got involved in something completely unrelated. Literally a, a police chief saying, why did you not just kill the monsters and leave the children for dead. <laughs> a cap. <laughs> because of your incompetence, all the credit ended up going to Arios McLean again. 
And the worst part about this situation? This little mishap of yours was exposed by the Crossbell Times! But, sir... Keep each and every one of your mouths shut! I don't want to hear your excuses! This is exactly why I was against the formation of this pointless new division of yours! If only that damn Sergei hadn't tacked on so many conditions! This would never have happened otherwise! Um, could you elaborate, sir? Silence! This doesn't concern you in any form! Wait a minute. This might just work out. That utter nuisance loses even one of its subordinates that can put a stop to his antics. Now listen, this is for your own good. Decline your assignment to the special support section within the next couple of days. <laughs> what? Why? Just a sec, pal. Why exactly are you insinuating? I do not understand. Guess you haven't seen Fran before. Um, prior to this, I don't think so, but I saw Fran at like the start of the game as a receptionist. She looks very nice. What's there to understand? Just do as I tell you. The SSS is sure to fail within half a year. I doubt it'll advance your careers at all. Oh, you haven't played? Yeah, no, I haven't played Crossbell. Um, any? But, yeah, this is my first time in Crossbell, basically, other than CS3 and 4. Um, so yeah, this is my first experience with the Crossbell games. So I only know like broad swaths of like m stuff that they mention happening in Crossbell in CS3 and 4. I've never seen any of like the minute details and stuff. Um, in fact, it may result in quite the opposite. Keep running into screw-ups like this and no one will even glance at your resumes. We want that just be an utter waste. Are you aiming to become a detective, Lloyd? I'll personally see to it that you are placed within one of our investigative units. Divisions. And for you three, I'll make sure you're assigned new roles that are more in line with your skill sets. Quite a generous offer, no? I promise you won't regret it. Sleep on it and let me know your answers tomorrow. You are dismissed. <laughs> Ah, yes. I'm totally gonna heed the advice of someone who told me to leave children for dead. Yes. Eesh. <sighs> Things got, just got real complicated out of nowhere. That guy wants us to refuse our assignment to the SSS? I suppose the CPD has its share of internal conflict as well. I'd only heard rumors, but this confirms it. Yes, this is very different from what I was originally promised. No? What do you mean by that? Nothing you need to worry about. More importantly, where could Chief Sergei be? Yeah, I was wondering about that too. What's the deal? He sends us off on a mission out of the blue and he's not even here when we get back? Instead, we get an earful from some balding old snob with a stick up his ass. What's up, Lloyd? Feeling down? Was being told to refuse your assignment that big a shock? Uh, no, that's not it. It's just, this place is a lot more different than I imagined. Which, honestly, I can sort of get this, right? Like, I feel like whenever you, like, whenever you start a new job, you have a idea of what it'll be like. 
or you like you try to imagine what it could be like but then you get there and some things might meet your expectations but others it's just like oh yeah i had no idea it was going to be like this so i can i can kind of understand that that this concept this idea what mm -hmm. um come again oh in there, rookies. Sounds like you've had a one hell of a day. Oh, um. I'm Donovan, Chief Inspector of the Second Investigative Division. And I'm Raymond, from the same division. Hmm. I'd heard rumors, but you really do have a kid in your squad. Rude. Nice to meet you too. I'm Lloyd Bannings. My name is Ellie McDowell. Hey, Randy Orlando. Nice to meet you. Likewise, welcome to the CPD. I see, so you're his. Huh? Chief Inspector? Nah, it's not. Anyway, Sergei likes to come up with some pretty wild ideas. Bousing a bunch of rookies into the lion's den to try to score some points with the citizens. Huh? huh? What do you mean by that? Huh? You haven't been told yet? Maybe I should just get my mouth shut. Well, anyway. Sorry to say, but you guys got the short end of the stick. We weren't exactly told anything what we were going to be doing. Wait, is the CP there that there is an S in the initials? Um, I mean, it's the SSS, but then it's the Crossbow Police Department, right? Uh, can't imagine how tough your job's gonna end up being. If I were you, I would have refused. I think you could stand to grow a backbone, Raymond. Keep talking like that, maybe I'll hand you over to Sergei, too. Come on, Chief Inspector, cut me some slack. I noticed that it was CSPD as in Crossbell State Police. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I guess that would also make sense. Um. Ah, sure you guys have a tough road ahead of you, but I hope you can see continuing to work with Sergey. Just don't push yourselves, okay? If it comes down to it, I'd be happy to bring all of you into the second division. Thank you, sir. And work hard out there. Immediately hitting up the girl. <laughs> oh, and Ellie was it? I'd love to take you out for dinner sometime. Just discovered this fantastic restaurant. And... Yeah. Hey, dumbass. I'm leaving. Ouch, I was just trying to be a gentleman. Uh, I don't know where they all came from, but they sure had some opinions about our department. Putting aside the talk of us getting the short end of the stick, I do fear this will be more strenuous than I would like. Well, I think it'd be best for us to get the details from the chief himself. Perhaps someone at the reception desk knows where we can find him? Yeah. Good call. Hello? Lloyd Bang speaking. Oh, good. The fox must be done with his bitchin' then. A vice commissioner can be a real pain in the ass, huh? Yeah, that guy's a... 
No, wait a second. Where in the world are you? Didn't you tell us to return to headquarters once we were done? Oh yeah, all your guys' luggage arrived, so I was dealing with the movers. Oh, you guys lucky to have such a nice boss. Luggage? Are you at our dormitory? That's right. We can talk more when you get here. Don't keep me waiting. <sighs> Understood. So, where exactly is the dormitory? Ah, well, it's not dormitory per se. Huh? Actually, it's the CPD's very own special support section annex. The rooms will be on the second and third floors. Let me get control of my characters again so I can save. Ugh. I don't know why, but my nose is super cold. <laughs> SSS Special Support Section. Huh. It's that old building. Yeah, this place sure has seen better days. Thanks to that brand spanking new department store right over there, it looks like it fell out of the Middle Ages. As it says, it's in the game. <laughs> right there, it's that nice little sign with like a pot leaf over it. From my impression, I would say that it was built around 30 years ago. I am surprised it has not been demolished yet. Is this really going to be the special support section's main office? Yeah, seems so. I told you not to make me wait. Chief Sergei? Inside, everyone. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions. What you've gotten yourselves into, what this new division of yours even is. It's about time I filled you all in. Okay. Wait, so basically, we're a division that serves the public by accepting requests from them? Like a bracer? So, Right, that, in a nutshell, is the special support section. The reason we got this annex was because it was in the heart of the city. Close to the everyday goings-on of the people. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? Hold on, but... Almost seems like we're copying the Bracer Guild. Watch the bases don't file a copyright claim, huh? So much so you could call it plagiarism. Seriously. I'm sure you're already aware of this, but the Bracer Guild is hugely popular in Crossbell. Especially the A-rank Bracer, Arius McLean, also known as the Divine Blade of Wind. He and a bunch of other extremely skilled individuals work out of the Guild's Crossbell branch. Starting to understand what that means for all the big shots at the police department. So, so well, the police and guild are constantly compared to each other, making our flaws as an organization that much more apparent. And blame for those flaws will end up in the government's lap. So that's what this is all about. Basically, we're here to try and steal some of the guild's popularity in order to cover the government's ass. A bit shameless, is it not? I won't be around the bush. 
However, the police's founding principles are to maintain public order and enforce the laws supplied by our government. Serving the community has never been the main priority. Wow, almost like protecting serve is almost just lip service to make you trust the cops. Even though they don't care. <laughs> for that reason, there's a lot of people within the police who aren't looking too kindly on a blatant bid for popularity like this. Let's see. Heard handyman, bargain bin bracers, even sideshow monkeys. Basically, people have been talking crap about us since day zero, so this is a trail from said zero. Otherwise known as a trails from zero. <laughs> I like how he's just like... <laughs> like it's, it's ellipses, but there's sound behind the ellipses. <laughs> so that's the case. This whole situation is starting to make much more sense. Eesh. So you're telling us to join a team where we'll be under fire from everyone? Honestly, this is beyond what I was expecting. No, no, don't start freaking out just yet. You may already know. There's no one, no one stopping you from refusing this assignment. No. Oh. If you do decide to stay on, expect to see all sorts of odd jobs and requests. That includes monster exterminations, like your mission today. But there will also be minor stuff, like tracking down lost items and helping out HQ. Anyone who's not up for that wouldn't be a great fit for this position. I'll give you the night to sleep on it. If you end up refusing, don't worry. You'll be reassigned to another unit. On top of that, there will be no demerits. The rest is up to you guys to decide. Okay. I mean, at least they're, like, at least Chief Sergei isn't pressuring them to stay. He's like, hey, this is it. This is the this is the why it's being made. This is what you can expect to do. And you don't have to stay. So, you know what? Here you go. Although, it would be kind of annoying that it's like, oh, hey, the movers already brought all our stuff here. Gotta move it back to the regular police dormitory. <laughs> How in the world did I get here? Imitating the Bracer Guild? I didn't join the force to be a part of something like that. The guy was assigned to the first division, wasn't he? The guy was assigned to the elite unit that single handedly solves major cases, be it criminal or political in nature, not to mention handling international matters. Our divisions really are worlds apart. Okay. I was curious as to what, like, what Lloyd's internal struggle was going to be in, in the game. It's. I was ex it's I wasn't expecting to be part of SSS, I was expecting to be more of like an actual police division. Interesting. Okay. I like that. I wonder what the others are planning to do. Doesn't seem like any of them attended the police academy. I'm sure they've got their own reasons for joining the force. Maybe I should go talk with them for a bit. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, that was a great first stream. Like, that was very, 
Nice. And OST is here in that case right at the top. Love it. Um, it was very enjoyable. I'm really liking the game, and I'm very excited to see where this goes. Um, but almost four-hour stream tonight. Very much worth it. Um, oops. <laughs> Didn't click out of the, the game. Um, so, uh... Uh, so thank you everyone for dropping by. Thank you, Neko Dave, uh, 50 Mira. Thank you, Fontano, Mr. Light. Uh, thank you as well, uh, Spencer, for dropping by and for the follow. Um, hope you all enjoyed tonight's stream. Uh, I will be back on Friday, so I hope you're all um, excited for that. So, yeah, I, I, I am very excited to see where this game goes. So I hope you all have a very nice night. Bye.